<laughs> just as we go, just as we go, I just see him do it. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a very professional, very serious, uh, very mature <laughs> Dungeons & Dragons stream. Thank you. Yep, thank you very much. Uh, I'm your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Holmes, and I'm joined by these chuckleheads. <laughs> it gave me like a serious Jedi <laughs> we moment. Got Bri, <laughs> like we got Bree. We got Trot. I knew this was going to happen. We got Kim. And on the other side, we got Tom. <laughs> no we got one Katie. Knew. This was the worst idea. We don't even need them for this section. We don't even need them anytime soon. I'm not even sure why we all have them. Um, There's three. We don't yeah. all have. Well, no, but like actually, the, I don't know why don't Tom has one. exactly that. <laughs> Is that maybe what more I meant? Yeah. yeah. Why does he have one? <laughs> Look, right. I'm, I'm happy on one side and sad on the other. No, no, no. <laughs> you can't do the Harlequin, Mom. Okay. Right. Let's quickly cover a couple of things. <laughs> run the intro, uh, and then we can get to playing some D&D. I got away with it. Got away with it. <laughs> if you missed it, Bullshit. last Sunday, oh. new merch collection. Yeah. Oh, it happened. It <laughs> happened. <laughs> If you missed out, if you couldn't buy it last Sunday, maybe you're waiting to get paid. Maybe you're waiting for that inheritance from your dead uncle who wow. my mysterious Don't house. Miss this? And he left the map and you found the treasure inside oh, it. Nice. That's where I was going with it. You, got, you, you give me time. Also, um, condolences. Yeah, but uh, we all know he was actually secretly a pirate. So, you know. Anyway. <laughs> Go check out the merch collection. Uh, it's available. Fresh merch. Freshstore.co. Freshstore.co. Fresh Freshstore.co. Fresh we got shirts. We got hoodies. We got long sleeves. We got tankards. We got dice with a cool rolly mat that the dice come in as well. It's Whoa. all there. It's a brand new collection. We got Moxie. Christmas jumpers. And Christmas yep. jumpers. Yeah, we aren't wearing those. We're not wearing uh, those. I've got one down here. We're wearing them last mine? week. Mine's down here. Oh, it's inside out. Mine's inside out, though. Hang Marku. on. Marku. Fun well, fact. I take it off. Fun it's fact. Mine, it's mine. Mark, <laughs> Mark put his it's jumper reversed. on inside out and had to take a minute to look at it and go, wait, why does that not look it right? It has sleeves. Kim's actually got it all sorted, Sam. It looked it. great inside out, too. It's reversible. <laughs> <laughs> Feliz Navidad. Da, 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 Little dice. Da. Feliz Navidad. Da, 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 da. There we it's go. Great. It's Christmas a great jumper. Christmas yeah, well, jumper. We have a great Christmas jumper for you all. Go and check out the Christmas jumper. Uh, merch. It's all available on the Merry New Merch store. On the Merry New Merry Merry. On not even a new. <laughs> anyway. Buy. <laughs> Consume. Buy. Consume. Capitalism. 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 Off today, guys. Go mm. check it out. Uh, available on the store. Buy now merch. You get a cool thing. You support us. This is a good thing to do. Go yeah. do for Christmas. Or you it? could buy someone a nice, nice Christmas present. Little Christmas gift. We don't Christmas <laughs> present gift. Uh, the other thing I was going to mention, I mentioned it last Sunday, but again, it's always worth repeating. Uh, if you're going to be at PAX Unplugged over in Philadelphia, uh, which is happening this year in December, uh, I'm going to be there. So if you want to come say hi, if you're in the States, uh, we don't often get to go out there. Um, and obviously you don't often get to come here because it's there's a big ocean in the way. Uh, Damn you, ocean! The ocean. ocean. Uh, come and say hi. I'm going to be there. Uh, I don't really have plans apart from the one thing I can't talk about. So Secrets. I'll be around. Come say hi. I'd like to see you. Is there a kill um, man? Other friends. Other friends. Yeah. Oh, other friends. I'm sorry, I Ooh. have a life Ooh, outside. Oh, a life outside of high sorry. rollers. Oh, special other friends. Special yeah. packs friends. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. We have packs friends. You, you, you know what? Just just jealousy. It's just like a little jealous for you. Ooh. Anyway, uh, come and check that out. That's pretty much it, unless there's anything else I've forgotten. Uh, don't forget you can follow us on TikTok. Yeah. We can follow us on social medias. Yeah. You can go check out our Patreon. Yeah. You can check out the Discord. Yeah. Yeah. It's all there. Go and check it all out. Yeah. And support the community. Uh, um, in yeah. You've run out. What ones did you not say? Subscribe to YouTube. Twitter. Twitter. Podcast. I kind of just said Twitter. follow us on social media platforms. Just search High Rollers. Yeah. We're it's every D&D. D &D. High Rollers D&D. &D. Don't go to High Rollers. Or D&D D &D High Rollers, rollers on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, with that, I don't think there's anything else. In that case... Ooh. Wow. Clean. Dun. Clean. So clean. <laughs> Sam's, dun, dun. Sam's like, you've got to give me more time. <laughs>
Let's go, gamers! <laughs> You tried so hard <laughs> to squeeze that in before <laughs> the countdown. I don't think Did I get it? No. 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 Absolutely you didn't. You I don't remember the time that Rhi went beep, and you just heard Rihanna's weird noise. Yeah. Pod Club listeners, if you listened real carefully, you would have heard the sound of Christopher Trott opening a Mr. Kipling delicious treat. A little cake. <laughs> a little cake. I reckon I got it before. No. I don't think so. No. <laughs> Sam, if that, was, if that was in, keep it in. Do not eliminate the cake. He can't, he can't live edit. <laughs> like, he can't cut it's already, out. it's already happened. It's already I don't know. Um, it's done. It's all right. It's another it's done. So the podcast is my job, and it's staying in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You think right. we're gonna put effort in? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it goes up on time. And you can't spell it right either. Part one is part two. This time. Ganassi. Ganassi. What was that? Ganassi. Star with one S. I mean, I can understand that one. Whatever. But Ganassi. I mean, no, I don't understand it because he could literally be, hey, Mark, how do I spell Vortensart? And I tell him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right. Oh, you don't know. He said he Googled Googled Ganassi and I was like, what did you Google? (laughs) Right. Okay, maybe this is getting cut. Yeah, I think so. Well, that's up to you. Well, choose what you want. No, keep it in. People are here all there, is it? Uh, That's my job. Last time on High Rollers of Rois. Our party have entered the Ganassi city of Vortensar uh, in order to stop the plans to transport the city back to the elemental plane or planet, in, in, in my case, in the astral universe of Ganass. Knowing that this attempt is doomed to failure thanks to a vision granted by uh, the Storm Eye to Quill, or at least a possible future, uh, that this endeavor is doomed to fail and will result in the destruction of the city. The party have entered in disguise, uh, they appearing as other Ganassi sort of commoners and traveling uh, folk uh, who have arrived here. They have established uh, connections with a group called the Seekers, uh, who are basically acting as a sort of uh, group within the city that is trying to oppose the current ruling party members. Uh, And especially somebody, they are opposing the ruler Harmony, as well as the Valkyrian propaganda artist Shansara, uh, who the party have encountered once before. Having made the connection with uh, Norfir, a spy, a half-elven spy and assassin, uh, who was once Lucius's nanny, uh, as well as Nova's brother, Tornado. He's a moron! Um, who has sort of become the relu- uh, sort of reluctant or uh, not quite reluctant. Clueless. What's, what's, yeah, clueless leader of the Seekers. Or like when somebody's like put into a position but they didn't intend to be. I'm trying Sexy. To... Yes, that one. The <laughs> sexy leader of the Seekers. Accidental, accidental works. Uh, leader of the Seekers. Thanks to his charisma Idiot. and good heart. Idiocy. Uh, people have put them forward. Uh, and they have established what missions and objectives they have here in the city. Having sort of discussed this briefly with the Seekers, they are currently now seeking to increase the influence and positivity towards Aroes uh, within the city, as well as locate a number of planar devices that will be used to transport it, and then a number of secondary objectives that will help them in various ways, um, with this very specific sort of uh, espionage mechanics. Mm. Uh, what we are best at. Tactical. Yeah. Espionage. It's almost like the DM purposely did didn't want you to just be making loads of stealth checks, so try to engineer a way that this group could do it. Uh, <laughs> but yes, and that is where we find ourselves today. The party have, uh, by the time this very next thing that they're doing is over, they will have five days to complete oh their God. missions and try and prevent what is about to happen. Um, one thing, there's a couple of things I want to go over because, in because. You know, I am a human. DMs are hu- human. What? I had written out human. <laughs> Big deal. Uh, written out loads of mechanics. Um, totally messed one one uh, a couple of elements of them up myself uh, that I had written literally say. hours before um, and completely missed out some things. So one thing is I need to do uh, everybody to do is I believe everybody except Lucius needs to mark off. I think two hit dice. Um, because every time you spend time to progress one of these objectives to kind of unlock these opportunities, that costs you hit dice. But Lucius actually spent one of his getting a flashback token, so... So I'm now down four. Yes, because you also had some uh, failures in your skill challenges and stuff like that. Yes. Um, Damn it. And uh, the other one you don't need to worry about because I can gloss over that. The last thing I want to show you, by the way, is I've been meaning to bring this in for Rhiannon for ages. My friend Missy, uh, Miss Penart on Twitter, 
uh, gave me a little book that I brought in specifically for Rhi uh, because I thought she needed it the most. Dice superstition is a cleansing ritual. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, can I have that? So too? good. <laughs> so good. I've already used one of them, which is using up your natural 20. I used it up. I wasted my good roll well, you were before the before session there. started. It's right oh. here. Yeah, it's gone now. But uh, one of them roll. just leaving it sat on the 20 so that it slowly becomes weighted towards that, that is, over time. I, I think that's, that's one of the things. It's a very common put, thing. Put in microwave. Yeah, encourage them. You have to leave them all up on their the most on their highest side. Yeah, so, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, but I just, I remember to bring that in for Rita. I've been meaning to nice. bring it in for ages. It's really good. It was quite funny. And uh, thank you, Missy, for giving that to me. I'm gonna try some um, stuff out. So, sure. the last thing that we left it on was that you had unlocked this opportunity through these kind of doing preparation and spending time researching to attempt to escort and rescue, in in theory, uh, a number of Atlas Academy students who are being kept inside the sort of university grounds uh, under guard um, and escort them to safety, to a safe house so that they can provide you information about planar magic and research and all this kind of good stuff. Um, the decision was made for Quill, Nova, Ayla, as well as your sort of sidekick that you've been assigned, uh, Fuego, a fire ganassi. Um, you, the four of you are going to go on this mission, and then Lucius and Sentry and another uh, Ganassi sidekick called Goliath have been progressing some of these other objectives in the meantime. So what that means is uh, that we have a little uh, side mission for Quill, Nova, and Ayla, Ooh. and Fuego, um, uh, to enter the Atlas Academy. And you are going at night. Hell yeah, we um, are. Um, yep. The so, spookiest time. The spookiest yeah. time. Oh. Being nighttime, when you arrive, you have to travel through the fire district and you notice the streets of Vortensar when the sun is fully down, when it is evening time. And we are talking like 11 p.m. like 11 p.m. onwards. So we're talking like, like 12 p.m. Like this is like midnight. Yeah, this is the streets are empty. Uh, there are a couple of places, a few taverns, a few places like that that are still technically open, but nobody's really out on the streets except for guards. Um, oh. You are traveling at the dead of night. Um, and it's not its not that there is a curfew in place in the city, um, but uh, you are stopped numerous times. Um, uh, and it's you know, routine they, if you, when you encounter... Or uh, let me ask you a question, actually. How much are you trying to be stealthy? Like, are you trying to avoid guards en route to the Atlas Academy? Or are you just going to boldly walk the streets and then just... You know, say, oh, we're, you know, have some sort of story of why you're traveling the streets late at night. Knowing what we know, would casting you know? something about magic being kind of detected and, and stuff like that, would using invisibility be like a good thing? Or would we know that there's like guards who have magic detect? Because, like, you know what you were saying about not using like Tiangong and things like that? Yeah, I, th I, I, I kind of feel like I've said everything on that in that like magic is people use magic yeah. in the city. It's not that it's, it's against not necessarily the, super powerful magic. Um, yeah. yeah, but it's like also, magic. like, but it, there's also the general thing, right? Of like, if you cast invisibility and you're running around invisible, and let's say there is a Ganassi or Valkyrian mage who happens to like have a job of like yeah keeping an eye out for invisible yeah. creatures using a, a spell or something like that that would raise suspicion like you going walking around the city invisible would be like what you know that would be a suspicious thing um i'm not gonna i can't say exactly like if you do it there won't be problems or if you if you don't do it the you know you'll be fine it, it that's your choice to make but yeah man it's not that magic is banned in the city there's plenty of magic yeah, in the city just... It's what kind of magic you use, and is it fitting for what you're pretending to do? I just feel like if I was living in a time of magic and we had a curfew, I'd have a few, you know, sneaky mages. There is there. no curfew. That's what I'm saying. There's no uh, curfew. Yeah, there's no curfew. But it is still, you know, it's like if I was, you know, if if you were walking around a city at the like three in the morning, uh, like a group of you, yeah. and you came across a bunch of police, they might be like, "Hey, what's going on? Like, hello, you know, are you hello. okay? Yeah, hello, hello. What's going on here then? You know, you, they might just ask you questions. So. I don't think we'd be st uh, stealthy, really. She'd just be like, um, it, ready to just talk your way through it, basically. Yeah, I mean, I think huh? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Sure. All right. Can we use his power so of stink. Don't, that. don't right. ask my name. Right. It sounds like that. You know, unless there's an objection, I'm just going to assume that you are not trying to. Be Worst stealthy. case, I'll just ethereal away from him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Uh, you guys, along with Fuego, who's with you, who's a local and sort of like doesn't seem to you know be too fussed about walking through the city streets. Through the fire district, Fuego can actually kind of keep you off the main path. Like you can stick to sort of side streets and it kind of takes you, it's kind of a long winded way, but it avoids any sort of major cross points or, you know, major areas where there would be interest. Um, but when you get to the, uh, each of the different city districts is divided by the sort of interior wall with gates and checkpoints and things like that. There is, unless you're gonna fly over this interior wall or unless you're gonna sneak around it or something like that, you will have to pass through a security checkpoint. And you can see that it is kind of like a, you know, it's maybe only sort of like a, you know, eight foot high sort of inner city wall or like maybe 10 feet tall, maybe. Um, it's got like a small gate with like a kind of shuttered uh, portcullis there are guards on either side, um, and it is a checkpoint. You have to basically go up there and be like, hey, we need to get through to the Earth District. Um, I miss Palace um, I mean, my plan is, uh, has always been to Etherealness all the way down to the <coughs> students, but it's a question of... Um, well, how long does Etherealness last? Uh, eight hours, didn't you say? I think it's eight hours, yeah. I okay. forgot I had the sticker on my head. Yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, you've had that entire time. None of you guys said anything. <laughs> no, I thought it was intentional. I, I it, you put it there. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to. Yeah. yeah, it's been there the entire time. Um, <laughs> yeah, it lasts eight hours. So okay, um, eight hours would be enough for you to yeah get there and back. So yeah, guys, thanks. So it's just what? a question of you put it there. You put it there. Like, I forgot. Yeah, why well, no? It says S because I'm small. Ah. Uh, um. Anyway, I need sugar. What do you think? <laughs> um. Is here a good point to... What? Yeah. Me talking to people? Bad times. Just well, saying. Well, what's the plan? Are you guys going to go through the checkpoint, or...? I, I, that's what I figured we'd be doing. Is there another plan? I thought I was coming in with you. I mean, they're going to ask, they're going to be... Yeah, we're going to have to... You know, they're going to want to know why we're going there so late at night and stuff. Yeah. You're going to need a good story if we're going to go through. I'm just saying, I could... Right now. Maybe we should... Right now, then. But it's a me, not a everyone. So Unless you want to right into the same place as where the students are. I won't be able to bring you back. That was the thing. I can only be, I can only once I get there, myself and the students out, but not you guys. You guys would have to stay there out of the... Well, I wasn't going to go in anyway. I was going to stay near the, the exit point. So yeah. that means he couldn't take you with a theorist now, is yeah. what he's saying. Uh, once he like ends you, it. Like, do you have yes, a signal in case it goes wrong and you need us to help? Um, uh, I will send you a message. Mm. We're sending, uh, and it will basically. I won't need twenty-five words. It will just be help. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. And that's <clears> the signal. Uh, ooh. Ow. And, and that's, that's when I get stabbed. Just. Uh -huh. uh, I will remind you there is a five percent chance that if you are on a different plane of existence, sending won't work. But it's a five percent chance. What's 5%? What's that that roll <laughs> could never What's happen. Yeah. It's not like I could will 5% failure into existence, is it? Twice in a row. <laughs> okay, so far so good. Um, Just use that it's not a D100. <laughs> well, no, true. Don't use um, up your good rolls. Mm -hmm. Read just said. That yeah, was fine. It's roll two. I think you should go in with a the realness. And if it goes bad, send us the signal. Mm -hmm. Does it have to be exactly that? Did you foresee that you were going to get stabbed? Is that why you were so... No, no, I haven't used your Oh, AI. I thought you used your storm. I'm just saying, if you hear those noises... If we hear ow, it means he's we'll come stabbed. In yeah. and, and if you hear anything aside from no. a verbal thumbs up, then... Verbal uh, thumbs up. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Then what is a verbal thumbs up? Clear probably me saying either clear skies or right. thumbs up. Okay. Everything's but fine. We're still need to gonna, we still need to go through <laughs> the checkpoint. We still need to go through the checkpoints. The three of us, That's right? You're I, gonna do like some magic bullshit. Yeah, I'm. Just, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. You guys, do your thing. We're not good at our thing, so we need to. Figure I, can, out. I can. I can figure. figure it. If you go ahead. You go ahead and do your thing. I'll. We'll. You be the alpha team. We'll be beta team. Beta team will figure out how to get through the security. <laughs> I'm an alpha. This one. Nice. Right. I don't think you have thumbs though. Okay. So you are casting a Theronus just on yourself. Yes. So sixth level, is that? Uh, seventh level. Seventh level. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Quill, you cast, you finish casting the spell. Fuego can direct you to like a quiet alleyway where you can cast the spell out of sight. Um, and if I'm correct, pretty much all of your equipment goes with you, doesn't it, as well? Yeah. 
Uh, uh, oh, that's a point. I should probably snag the book. If you're, if you've got the haversack with you. Yeah. Can I steal my book back? I didn't know I had your book, but yeah, yeah sure. You got, you got my book. Just into it. Yeah, it was in your haversack. You can have it. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much all of the. <laughs> Ayla go, no. Pretty much everyone. No. Everyone's magic items, Ayla, apart from the ones that you have uh, masked with magic, are stored. Oh, in cool. the I have a lot right in yeah, yeah, yeah. there, and then I, I, I have a lot of responsibility. Who decided that was a good idea? Uh, I mean, you're the big one. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So you take the Wayfinder's Guide. I take the way, Wayfinder's Guide, um, Inter and... Okay. Interesting. interesting. This is a big For a powerful light, thing. thing. Well, yeah, but I'm ethereal. If they can see me, like... Commit. I'm already fucked. Go on. <laughs> yeah. How many people can you transport with the wayfinder? Wayfinders. Uh, that's only to specified like places. Yes. Um, it's pre-programmed location. I should have programmed it to like the. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Should have programmed it and then just. There's a lot I should have done, but for now. Okay. You feel yourself, and you kind of have to take a step. Uh, when you finish casting the spell, you have to physically move yourself into the ethereal. Mm -hmm. And as you do so, the world around you, these... Because even late at night, there are still, there's still lots of color, especially here in the fire district. These kind of glowing magical neon signs of made of this uh, animated illusory paint. Um, the fiery lava distending from Surtur's, the statue of Surtur's hands, cast this yellowy red glow to the whole district. Um, but even in the distance, you can see the twinkling lights of the gemstone uh, decorations of the of the earth uh, district. Um, you can see this sort of pale blues, the ban banners and pennants that decorate the water district. It's a very colorful city. When you step into the border ethereal, it all becomes just shades of gray. Uh, everything becomes maybe with a very, very slight purplish blue haze over everything but it becomes gray and your vision is limited to 60 feet. Mm -hmm. Where do you go? Um, I mean, I will, uh, I want to, kind of like I did on uh, the ship, Zasadar, I want to try to stay inside walls as much as I can. Mm -hmm. So if there is anything that can see me, they'll at most see my head pop out of a wall because I can walk through objects and everything. Um, you can. Um, Unlike the Tastar, which was still big, but you knew sort of go up or go this way because you had sort of known where you were going. Yeah. This city is massive and you have never been here before. Uh, with 60 foot of limited vision, moving through buildings, you very quickly become disorientated into what direction. You know vaguely where the Atlas Academy is. You've looked at maps and things like that. But to navigate there, you will need to make a survival check. Survival. Uh, Using joking? landmarks, remembering the knowledge of maps that you've seen and things like that, uh, you're going to need to sort of orientate, your, uh, orienteer yourself around this unfamiliar place with limited vision, um, without any sort of colours, like not being able to discern, you know, landmarks until you get very, very close to them. Um, this is not going to be an easy task. Um, yeah, can I, I can still see... Um, 60 feet away. But I can still see... The physical world, people in nope. the physical world. That's that's what you can see within 60 feet. Right. Uh, if I'm reading the spell correctly. Uh, you can see in here the plane you originated from, but everything there looks grey and you can't see anything more than 60 feet away. Right, but I could see, like, Nova, Ayla, Fuego. If they're within 60 feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But once you um, step away from them, that's it. You can't... Once you're more than 60 feet away, you can't see them. Okay. Well, I will... Yeah. That is a 27. 27. Yeah. Even with these circumstances, having studied maps for years in your training as the Messengers Guild, um, you are fairly confident that even with this kind of very limited vision, um, as long as you occasionally, you will have to sort of border out onto like major streets just to be like, I think I'm here, carry on the direction. Mm -hmm. You probably still, it does slow you down, but considering that you know your companions are gonna have to get through the checkpoints, they're gonna have to move through, that's probably actually going to even out. Um, I also move slower in the ethereal plane as well. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, so. Yeah. But you can just go through everything. <laughs> you don't have yeah. to navigate buildings and streets and things like that. You can just go in a direction. Well, we did actually have a 
potentially problematic question regarding etherealness and where we are, mm. because it says that the spell has no effect if you cast it when you're on the ethereal plane or a plane that doesn't border it, such as one of the outer planes. This being a city that came from... It is in beyond. the material plane. Right, it okay. Is, it, is, it is here in the material plane now. It is okay. not a different plane while you're in this city. It sure, It is still fine. part of a rose. Just in case it was still encased in some sort of weird... No, no not as far as you can tell. ...bubble that separated it. <laughs> uh, Ayla and Nova, there is a checkpoint. What do you do? Okay, so here's my idea. We want to go into the Atlas Academy. I was going to, you know, use my uh, my 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 disguise as Julian, um, the, the 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 culinary journalist, and say that I want to access the library for a specific history of a specific thing. Doesn't matter. We don't need to go into that right now. But I was thinking that you two, not you, you're not here. Uh, she points to Fuego and Ayla, mm -hmm. um, might want to check out the All Hours Gymnasium because you are a, me a member of the, um, what? Why wouldn't... Making up stuff like that's they're not been established. For, they're known for Elemental Mountain, so why wouldn't they have... An All Hours Gymnasium. Very convenient to just add that <laughs> detail in, isn't it? You've never been to a university gymnasium? They're open all hours. You can just go to for the students, quarter. Yeah. <laughs> not to public. Or sh sh ex student. Oh, right, okay, okay. yeah, still, no, carry on, I'm, I'm just saying. As a touring Battle of the Elemental um, Mountain athlete, your excuse is that you want to access the All Hours arena to practice and see, and Fuego here, is your mate, wants to, you know, check it out as well. Maybe get into it. Okay. You got an idea? No. Fuego? I got nothing. No. Worst case scenario, I was going to climb the wall. That's how yeah. I normally would get anywhere. We we could also just climb. I was just going to go walk down where the gate is and, and try and climb over. Might climb, might not work. Climb this ladder It's hard. <laughs> well, if uh, we get caught inside though, and they're like, "Hey, did you?" Yeah, that'd be a problem. Yeah. I mean, for you, I don't have an ID, so I can run away. But it might be a might be a problem for you. Well, guys. we could run away. Yeah, but if if the guards stop you, they'll they'll scan your thing that well, you got. Fuego, how about you go up and over and sure. we go in? Sure. Less people would be better. Yeah, works for me. But he like scampers could, off down an alleyway. You can see he's like climbing up on like a like a gutter railing to get on a house, and he's basically gonna have to cross over buildings and then do a sort of like a. He's basically a kind of thiefing. It. Parkour. Yeah, he's he's doing the rogue thing, um, of like you know getting over this checkpoint this way. Um, but yeah, you guys can just walk up to the gates if I you mean, want. I mean, if you want to climb over it, it's just that if we get stopped inside and yes. our our cards haven't been like stamped or whatever at the entrance, we'll get in trouble. That's exactly it. Like, mm -hmm. if okay. you get caught, it would be a problem. Sure, try it. I mean, if they don't let us through, we can just climb. Or you could throw me. Yeah, I guess I could throw you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So plan one, talk. Plan two, throw. Okay. Sure. Uh, to save time, because obviously I don't want to spend forever on this because we've got two players who aren't here, um, we don't need to roleplay it. it. This is a deception check. <laughs> this is this is a... Uh, you, the two of you, I would like you both to make charisma deception checks. Uh, your stories are convincing enough, but it's still a high DC because you're trying to do this in the middle of the night. Uh, you're not students. Um, it would be, It's very you unusual for you to be doing this. It was a 14 and then rolled over to a 4. Oh, that means it's Plus a 4. Plus 5 is a 9. I rolled a 16. 16. <laughs> uh, 9 total for me. 9 total. So. Consequences! Uh, whiteboard. Great. Here it comes. Incognito. I'm in jail now. Our ratings lower. Uh, possibly. Or higher. It's bad. Maybe the Whatever lie the was so bad was, it, it was, was believable. It wrapped around. He just gave me a little look. Uh, he does that. He's a looker. I'm going to give you guys a choice. <laughs> you can either spend hit dice, which represents the kind of like mental stress of having to fast talk your way through this. The guards at the gate, I'm not going to roleplay their exact responses, but they do not buy the story. And they start pressing you for details. Um, they, uh, You're going to have to really convince them to do it. Mm. Right? You can spend a hit dice, which is basically kind of the mental trauma and tress and, and maybe like a bribe as well, but you know, rather than worrying about coins, I'm just gonna have you guys spend hit dice to do it, right? The other one you could do is you could spend more time. That might mean that you desync from Quill and Fuego, who are gonna be going in separate to you guys. Um, hit dice. 
I either. Think, I think fine. hit those I think because yeah, I'm yeah. not going. I'm not going in. Mm. So if I'm running a bit behind Quill, it's kind of fine for me to run yeah. a bit behind. So this will need to be time. the same choice for both of you because yeah. you're both up there together. Like you can't decide. You can decide. separately. I'll do whatever. I think hit dice. Sure. Because I can imagine RP wise, Nova just goes on a massive long rant about mm -hmm. the history of the chili pepper. And okay. so, sure. no, it's the strain of her trying to remember everything. Mm -hmm. Like she's trying to basically drown them in. Yeah, and it, it's just like babbling knowledge and things like that. And it's exhausting and it still takes you some time. Um, and it's that growing tension. You know, Ayla, you can see that like more guards are coming in to be like, <laughs> what's going on? That kind of prepping yourself for a fight. Um, but also just to represent that kind of like, you know, diminishing resource as it goes. It's going to be two hit dice for both of you. Um, but eventually you manage to kind of talk your way through. There would be like, maybe it's a case of like, Julian has to like be like, oh well, I'm so sorry to have kept you. Let me, you know, let me give you some money. I'm not going to worry about the actual what the bribe is, but it's that kind of stuff basically. Um, and you have to, yeah, it food. is. Food. I bring them uh, food. Thing. And also, yeah, I mean, there might be other consequences that I've not told you about. But um, you eventually make your way through the checkpoint. You manage to guide Ayla uh, towards the Atlas Academy. Uh, you sync up back up with Fuego, who's climbed over and snuck in. Um, and you begin making your way. To cut to Quill, uh, you arrive at the Atlas Academy um, in Etherealness. Sure. With the 60-foot range of the vision, you it, it's that thing of you you see stuff before like you can't react to like you can't see anything coming. You have to react to things as they as they happen. Yeah. Um you know where the students are, you have like a location for them. As you've been making your way through the actual academy itself. Uh, you do notice that there is there are night guards here. There's no it, because it's nighttime. It's not open to the public. Um, it's all closed off except for the students themselves. Yeah. Um, and none of the students are out. Nobody's walking around. Nobody's like you know doing things. This is a very much a lockdown kind of scenario. Um, Maybe daytime would have been better. Yes. The guards themselves, for the most part, are Ganassi guards with the occasional Valkyrian rifleman. But. Mm -mm. There is a point where, as you are rounding a corner and you're making your way towards the dorms where you know the students are, and you can go through the walls, you can pass through the walls and things like that. And as you kind of like fly up and emerge into where you know all of their rooms are, they're not all in one room. They're in scattered rooms occupying like a like a university student halls, right? Like you had the hall, like you basically would have everyone have a room as part of like a like a corridor or whatever, right? Mm. Well, that's how it was when I visited yeah. a bunch of friends and things like that. Dormitory. So you can't just go into one room and they're all there with you. Like you're gonna have to gather them up from these five different oh. rooms. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, that is also the point where you realize that sort of patrolling this corridor, like kind of checking in on all the rooms, is a much more magically looking uh, Valkyrian officer. I'm just pulling up their stats for myself now. Um, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. The last thing they are expecting is uh, <laughs> a, a, an ethereal bird man <laughs> to be like, Woo! <laughs> so they don't spot you immediately. I'm going to give you the thing of like, you see them, but you have to pull out of the building itself, like, or out of that space, right? You can't get to these students without somehow... I mean, maybe he, maybe this, I'm going to say he just because I default to it. Maybe this, this Valkyrian soldier can't see you, but you don't know. Um, right. But you just saw them and look, you like pulled yourself back like, whoa, okay, I need to think here. Okay, um, so five students, five separate rooms, one hallway, one guard. No, not just, he's the, uh, he was a magical looking guard. He's flanked by two riflemen. Um, okay. Um... Casting spells, I can't do that through the ethereal plane, like into the material from the ethereal. No, you can't. You can't affect anything on the material plane uh, yeah. until you are in the material plane. Or up in it. Yes. How? Uh, I mean, the magic guy. He looks pretty spicy, right? But yeah, I, I'll be honest. Like you fought Valkyrian forces before, um, and you guys have had like data. You've like examined data. You've studied your enemy. Uh, this is a, a type of soldier. Uh, you know, uh, which is uh, an, a Valkyrian Inquisitor, 
They are specifically designed for sort of more espionage missions, dealing with magical threats, interrogations, that kind of thing. And it you kind of, yeah, makes sense why they're here. You know, these students apparently seem to know something about the planar devices. They have information. Uh, they know that they have magical connections and things like that. So, yeah. Oh, how do I deal with a problem like that on my own? It's a great question. Use your big bird brain. What happens <laughs> if you de-ethereal inside someone? It does actually say. Uh, it does. Really? I think, I think you basically damage. pop out next. Oh. It says, like, become uh -huh. them. <laughs> and take you wear them damage. like a sleeve. Yeah. Uh, you are immediately shunted to the nearest unoccupied space that you can occupy and take force damage equal to twice the number of feet you are moved. So if he had to, if like the, if he was like trying to appear in like a solid, twenty foot cube of stone, he'd be shunted twenty feet out, and then he damage. would take yeah, uh, forty feet of damage, uh, forty force damage. So this would be oh. ten force damage if he tried to appear in a person. He'd be shunted so you can't five feet. Explode people then? No, no, absolutely. They're gonna, yeah, <laughs> wizards are smart enough to know that that's the first thing people would do. <laughs> what? Yeah. Um, but yes, uh, yeah, you 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 don't exactly know the capabilities of this Inquisitor. Um, the Rifle Corps you've you've faced before. They're pretty much just normal soldiers. Their main benefit is they have Magitech equipment like these rifles and armor, so they tend to have like good AC and they can do damage if they hit you. But on their own, they're not too much of a threat, and they're not smart. They're just kind of grunts. But the the Inquisitor is definitely a more sort of intellectual threat. Activate the Inquisitor mode. Have they got? Triangle goggles that are green and a bit splinter silly. Like, like Sam Smith. No. Three. <laughs> the three eyes. That's an interesting that you go to Sam Fisher as like a, <laughs> them, yeah. for an inquisitor. <laughs> but like true sight goggles. Oh, right, I see. Oh. Um, no, no, you don't see like. Uh, so um, imagine it being Magitech. Well, actually, yeah, he would be Magitech. I mean, he, he's covered in equipment and gizmos and things like that, but I'm not going to say he's got splinter cell goggles. Okay, but he probably does have. He probably does have like, um, almost like a kind of pair of glasses with lots of different lenses and things like that that he can kind of like, like filter. Or well, like a visor. It'd probably be more like a visor, yeah, actually, like yeah. a Jordi LaForge visor. Has he got like, little rain wipers, like to be mad? No. <laughs> <laughs> if only. Um, oh, but yeah. <laughs> but also, I think actually this character would probably have because the Valkyrian Empire also uses normal magic, so it's kind of a combination of magic yeah. and their own spell casting. Mm -hmm. Um, you can see he does have a pistol. He has a Magitek pistol on his belt. Um, that seems to be the only physical weapon he's carrying. Well, I bought you enough time, Tom. Thanks. <laughs> you don't have to buy time. Like, and no, I was, I you guys can also that. talk. Like, I don't mind you being like giving Tom advice and stuff like that. Break his kneecaps. Yeah, it's <laughs> I don't. <laughs> For every twenty-five oh. words, I'll spend a spell slot and roll on the d20 to see if that sending has failed. Um, I okay. would do 5%. You could just do a D100. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah I'll, and also, I'm going to roll it. A 1 on a D20. That's 5%. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like the D100, though. Well, oh, that's fine. We never use Everyone gets what they want. <laughs> wow. Um, so, also, I'm absolutely rolling the fail chance. So, <laughs> if I was to pop out and cast a spell on this magic guy, would they be surprised? I would, I, if you, so, <clears throat> it, right, here's the, here's, the, here's the $6 million question, right? If they can see, Seven. if they, if they like, have like some sort of permanent true sight and you appear, they'll see you immediately, right? right? Unless you do like a stealth check or something like that to try and like wait for them to turn around and then jump out at them or whatever. If, if they can't see into the ethereal plane right now and it's something they have to activate, then yeah, you would absolutely get a surprise round because they had no idea you're there. But the problem is, is you can't see them until they can potentially see you. And so if they have it permanently on, unless you do a stealth check, they'll see you. But that's the if question and you don't know. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... The one that I saw through my arcane eye when I was using that to scout around the building, mm -hmm. the one that saw the arcane eye, did it look like this dude? Yes. Or at least <laughs> of a similar style to this guy. It wasn't this guy specifically. Right, but it's, it's, it was a, yeah, it was a, a, an inquisitor, yes. Ah. Um, in that case, I will, yeah, I'll attempt um, ethereal stealth, I suppose, okay, yeah, uh, in, in an attempt to get in a position where if I do jump out, they're not seeing me. 
Um, Less. Thank you. A stealth check, stealth check, stealth check. Good lord. 14. 14. You believe you are as stealthed as you can be? I go above them. I'm floating directly above them. <laughs> like a spectre. Dogs never look up. They don't, they can't look up. Um, <laughs> like dogs. Um, you float into the room. You're hovering up in the air. They turn around and would absolutely see you. No reaction. Fucking rad. Okay, I want to. Are get you into still a position. floating above them? I'm still like. That's hilarious. I like Just... put my hands in front of his face and sort of really slowly do this. I don't do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> He's this close to him. I want to get yeah, get behind them. Um, in that case, pop out of etherealness and cast banish on the big guy. Okay. Oh. You wait. They move down towards the end of the corridor. You end the Ethereum spell, manifesting in the real world. That stealth check, which you had rolled previously, becomes is still active. They, somebody, the Inquisitor, hears something and whips around. Is still technically surprised. You get to act, but they are they can see you. You are not stealth from them anymore. Like they they know you're there. Okay. But you get the stealth. You get the surprise round. So yeah. this is banishment. Banishment. <laughs> they make a charisma save. Um, or three. Now. Or just one person. Chot's how, making some real stress noises over here. How charismatic are these guys? <laughs> you don't get to know that. I don't get if to know If you want a portent, you have to tell me right now, because I'm about to roll. Oh, I see. Mm. I am portent boy. Roll. I am cocking my arm. Look, my, the my, dice is portent. coming out. The my, lowest, is cocked. my lowest yeah, portent lowest port is, is like 15, and, and they need <laughs> so to... No. They need to get like over twenty two. No, I wouldn't use that. No. no. Well, it, they have to be twenty two. That's the thing. Like plus seven is. Yeah, you quite... guys are high level. No, I know. I've, I've also cool got. I've also got plus seven in charisma. Exactly. That's why I'm looking at it. Like. Ooh. So I roll in. Roll it. DC twenty two. DC twenty two charisma. So what do I? What do I need to roll here to fail? Twenty two. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't like that face. Oh, no. Is it 20? What would that be? 7. 22 exactly. <gasps> <laughs> I was like, because I was trying to do the math in my head. Yeah, they have a plus 9 to charisma. I Not rolled a 13, me. and I was like, I think that's a 22. Um, plus 9? Yeah. Uh, you kind of appear, you summon the power of Hesper, um, still in your Ganassi disguise uh, at this point, and you watch as the kind of magic envelops the Inquisitor who just holds up a hand and there's like a pulsating gem or something like that. Um, and yeah, they mentally just, no, and uh, that's gonna be the point where we have to roll initiative. Oh, All of it, like Ailey and me as well? Um, you guys got delayed slightly, but not enough. He was delayed. So I would say at this point, you guys are entering, like, stealthing your way to get into the building. You're not at this level. You are in the Atlas Academy. We'll just hand wave and say that with Fuego's help, you've managed to sneak into this far. Maybe, like, Ayla's, like, choke, you know, solid snake choked out minor guards and, like, <laughs> and, like just, like, knock them out. Because um, they're just going to be, like, patrolling mundane guards, right, who are, like, nobodies. I like to think that I bore them with a fact and she just chokes them out from behind. I wasn't well, even so, going in, but I oh, guess no, that's right. You, no, 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 that's right. You weren't going in. No, but no, I don't, no, 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 no. That was the original I, that plan. That was the plan, so yeah. I don't want to... No, no, no. That's so your 100% right. So, Unless like, someone sends me yeah. a message and tells you were me to, but also, <laughs> to do it. No, you didn't pe speak to people. You, you are not allowed in here. Like, this is nighttime. It's not open to the public. You're not a student. So you and Fuego have to sneak in. I'm a journalist. D you um, if we have to sneak in, I would use invisibility. Yes. That, on, okay. And I can use it on both me and him. Right, perfect. In that case, we don't need to worry about anything. You and, and Fuego are invisibly making your way through the building. You are in the Atlas Academy, but you are still several him. minutes away from this guy. Several um, minutes? Yes. But he like he oh. might be able to run away and then like you He's know you can meet up. Again. Um, uh, right, so um, let me roll. Five head. Twenty. Oh, You're dead. Is that a natural twenty? Oh, You're dead. No. You just spontaneously I'm combust. I'm I'm spending my portent on initiative then. Oh really? I am. Yeah. I've got a nineteen. 
Uh, you want to spend that on initiative? And I, 19, I need to go first. Um, okay. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to go well, first. I need to go at least faster than the other guys as well. Like, I, I, I need to get out big have bits some of paper. Speed. Yeah, just so, because I don't have anything to make it. I'm not going to do this as a uh, oh, DPB on encounter because it's only him. So I'm just going to need to manually do a like, oh. old school, write the initiative. Plus in here, nine. So, yeah. And I rolled exactly what I needed. <laughs> it's bullshit. <Yeah. laughs> I agree. Yeah, that's bullshit. Right. This game of dice and so. chance is bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just like, it's like. Because it, it was, it, I had to roll a 13 or higher, uh, which is <laughs> I technically like, like I, the odds should have been in Tom's favor. Oh no, I think you're more annoyed about that yeah, success I than I am. Uh, um, okay, so that's the Inquisitor's initiative, and then the two Rifle Corps. And what's his initiative? Like 40? I mean, I'm not going to tell you what his initiative is. Well, I, it's going to be higher than mine, I think. I mean, I, you, you saw the face I made when I rolled <laughs> it. It's a 20, you rolled a 20. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hoping his, uh, well. It's going to be higher than It's going to be higher than mine, yeah. So I would just roll it and not waste right, your so energy. Right, so Quill. I'm still using it. I'm still using a 19. My board is, that the, is that what your initiative is? Or it's is that uh, 22. 22. All right. You watch as the horror kind of fills you, fills you for a moment as the banishment spell is resisted by this... Uh, mentally like strong-willed inquisitor uh probably a little bit of the kind of sith inquisitors from star wars has like sort of like a face mask over like dun, dun, and just kind of points at the rifle core like uh and they are going to Get look you. in your way <laughs> yeah, Get and uh they've seen you cast a spell they are going to point in your direction um, they begin pulling out their pistol. They gesture. In fact, it would be magic. I'd say this one's Magitek. They pull out like a small device, uh, throw it down the corridor, and a 20 foot radius sphere of like electromagnetic energy, like <laughs> all sound goes out oh. in the 20 foot radius around oh, you. Shit. And then the device evaporates. It's like a little, it's, it's, he's casting the silent spell, um, but it's like a Magitek thing. The rifle core begin like, <laughs> uh, so 20 foot radius around you. Um, so 20 foot in all directions around you is silent. How long is this Which means that you cannot cast spells with a verbal component. Just yeah. realized you're in a corridor. That's our worst enemy. Yeah, it is. How long yeah. is the corridor? Uh, like, I would say the corridor, like a student dorm, like maybe 30, 40 feet long with doors on either side, basically. And a stairwell on, one, on both sides, kind of like going up and down. It's kind of like being in a hotel. Yeah. So I could get out of the... Silent sphere. You could you could run out of that silent sphere. Yes, um, you could. Make, if you wanted to make a run for it, you absolutely could. Uh, that <clears throat> was his action. Um, he doesn't really have another bonus action. Uh, actually, no. He, his bonus action. The other thing he does is he taps his shoulder, yeah. and a crystalline drone kind of <laughs> flies up, uh, and he can make a ranged spell attack with it. Uh, that's a 19 to hit. Yeah. Uh, you're going to take nine points of force damage as like a little... <laughs> Ow. The bastard. Uh, and then, yeah, just capture them alive if you can. We need to know who they work for. Uh, <laughs> well. um, I want to fly. Ceiling's low, but you can get off the ground. I want to fly away from them and out of the sphere of silence. Okay. Um, this time I want to cast Banishment at... God, I, I just used my 6th level spell. Wait, did I? You used... Uh, I don't know what you used... I don't know when you used the 6th. You used 7th for Banishment. I used 7th no, for, for Ethereal. Banishment. Okay, yeah, I, sorry, yeah. so the 6th for the, uh, sixth um, for the Ethereal. 6th level Banishment, meaning it will affect 3 people. So you want to try and just banish the whole squad, basically? Yeah, um, and I, okay. I believe that they will all make individual roles. Yes, they um, will. Yes. So again, Charisma 22. Charisma 22 oh. on all three. Do him last. No. Want, yeah, no, Big sure. guy last. Yeah, no, okay. Get right. your good rolls out of the way. Yeah, well, you don't know. Just let no. rifle, One of the rifle core one. <laughs> don't waste your rolls. Rifle core two. <laughs> Both vanish. Okay. They are not native to this plane no, of existence. 
that's important to remember if you can maintain concentration. Yes, exactly. The Inquisitor. If this guy goes oh, as well, then I can concentrate on banishment freely. 13 or higher. Yeah, but here's the problem, Tart. Is Ethereanus concentration? It is, mm -hmm. but I've got Elder Quill. That's true. The Inquisitor. I mean, you can see he's bringing that pistol up to, like, take a shot. Yeah. And then he feels the spell, and he's like, oh, I'm going to resist. Oh! oh. Nice. <laughs> nice, nice, Set. nice. It's like oh. just as the gun fires, yeah. like the muzzle flashes like, there, but the bullet also goes. You see this, like, goes. green glow yeah, building, yeah, and then yeah. just... Yeah. Pfft, <laughs> Amazing. Because awesome. uh, he was oh. confident he was going to resist it again. Uh, oh. So, <laughs> let's bring up... Banishment as does his, a spell. Yeah, does his drone go with him? It does, yes, it does. In fact, I think it would probably, it just evaporates into like magical energy. It just like. Um, if the target is native, he's not. If the target is native to a different plane of existence, to the one you're on, the target is banished with a faint popping noise, <laughs> returning to its home plane. Important. If the spell ends, ends before, before one, one minute. minute past, the target reappears in the space it left. If not, they stay there. Yeah. Spot just ends before one minute and it's concentration. Right. I've just sent them back to Gideon Prime, I guess, or wherever. Yeah, so this has only taken a few seconds. So Nova and Fuego are still kind of like stealthing via the invisibility. They're making your way through. Um, you do notice, Nova, as you're kind of sneaking through, um, the outside guards that you and Fuego passed were like generic Ganassi guards, right? When you get inside and you are now on Atlas Academy grounds, in the kind of more university type buildings that would be open to the public during the day, you maybe see more of those kind of guards walking around. Soon as you get into the student dorm where you know these guys are, it's like it ramps up. Mm -hmm. At the door, they're dressed like normal guards, uh, but Fuego would probably whisper to you and be like, those are those are elemental tack ops, like they're real serious students, we don't want to mess with them. Um, you can see that these much more trained guards are pretending to be like normal sort of like rent-a-cop kind of things. Um, then as you kind of bypass them, you start making your way up, you begin to see Valkyrian rifle core. You begin to see um, more mage looking Ganassi. Not, kind of you don't like encounter really another Inquisitor. Yeah. Um, but um, what are the kind of troops we're used to seeing? Like maybe these are like the the upper tier. Mm. Like you know, you were fighting the regular schmuck guards outside, or like bite sneaking. No, no, no. Them. I mean just in general. Right, like, right, yeah. not, not just here, but like yeah. in yeah. our journeys yeah. across the for multiverse. Sure. Yeah, for sure, 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 sure. <laughs> um, all right, cool. That was like six seconds, luckily, but you did it. Yeah. At least for now, as long as no nothing breaks your concentration in the next minute. Um, I want to cast... Um, fuck me, my heart. I want to cast um, <laughs> Sending to Nova. Um, Using Elder... Are you no, this isn't, this isn't concentration. This is fine. Um, so... Hold on. Huh? Oh, it would have ended the... No, wait, because it was a device, right? The no, it, it was a spell. It, okay. was, it was a spell, yeah. Just it, flavor. It's, it's, I'm flavoring it as Magitek, yeah. It, it lasts and then it went away. Wait, what? The silence. The silence. Oh, but he also, he, he also he moved, flew out of it. Yeah, he flew out, out of it. the radius. Um, so yeah, sending to Nova, uh, clear skies, spotted but dealt with. Should I be worried? <laughs> <laughs> Panic? <laughs> About more guards. <laughs> uh... More guards on each level, increasing in um, difficulty. <laughs> sure. Rank, rank, yeah. increasing in rank. Do you need us to come to you? Oh, fuck, you just made me burn another spell slot. <laughs> Asking me a question in well, response you just to ascending? Have... You don't need to. I guess. You don't have to reply. You can just, just ghost you, me, bro. Yeah, you can ghost Nova. Yeah, I'll totally ghost. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just be there with Fury, like, he's fucking ghosting me. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess it's up to Quill uh, what happens in the next few seconds. I mean, so. I, from that, I presume that, you know, that his message of get him, keep him alive or whatever wasn't, like, sent out. And... Yeah, yeah. would I have seen, like, movement among... You think that that was just to the two guys next to him? It was just me being like, get him. Yeah, yeah. Like, just, just in case. Like, if Nova It wasn't, like, guards... a broadcasted message. So, yeah, okay. I, I would... Uh, in the remaining letters, I would say no movement, no unusual movement. Sure. Fucking radical. Any kisses on the end? Kiss, kiss. 
kit. No, not for Quill. Oh, Actually, wait. No, yeah. I definitely sent a few, like, XO, XO, or, like, the remaining... Weapons, yeah, same. Yeah. Same. I would have done that back. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's just and maybe a butt as well. <laughs> just XO, 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 XO. Um, okay, in that case, I want to look in rooms. You encounter... Well, when you knew this, the doors on windows are magically sealed. And, and I can't see into them at all. Like, no, they are. They're they are. Yeah, they're just like wooden doors, like uh, hotel doors. All right. Uh, they, um, are, they are locked. They have locks on, like you can see keyholes. Um, if I knock, but you don't. Yeah, you, I mean, you you've been told that they're magically sealed. You don't know in what way or anything else. Right. So do you knock? I do. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's late at night. You, you, with your perception, you hear like stirring, like somebody was asleep, and you maybe like they're waking up because you've knocked, or like they've heard something out in the hall. They would have heard probably the Inquisitor actually, like they get them and stuff like that. Yeah. So like there's there's stirring, but like somebody who's clearly still maybe waking up and isn't sure if they're dreaming or something like that. Like, you know. Um... Yeah, I was wondering if I could cast message, but. Um... I have to be familiar with the target mm -hmm. and know that they're beyond the barrier. Um, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I know, know they, they are, are but, but you're not familiar with them. Yeah. Um, you can, I mean, you can knock again or, like, call out to them or something like that. For one, you can see you're now alone. There's no other guards on this floor. Um, it looks like those those were the three sort of specifically watching this hallway. Yeah, the I mean... The best I'm, of the best. I think I'm furthest away... one of them. I'm furthest away from the stairs out of this corridor, I suppose. Okay. Um, so, I'll, yeah, I'll sort of whisper through the door, like... Is anyone hey, in there? Hey, 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 I'm here to help. Okay, uh, yeah, you hear like a kind of like sleepy like, hello? What's going on? Uh, I'm here to take you away from the Atlas Academy. What? Uh, oh, what? Uh, are you with this? I, 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 no, no, this this is a trick. You're trying to trick us. No, definitely not a trick. You might have heard a faint popping sound. That was me banishing all the guards. I'm with the Seekers. We're here to take you to safety. Make a persuasion check for me. Uh, also, I'm really trustworthy. Persuasion <laughs> plus one. <laughs> Ten. Ten is enough. Like, they, at least enough for them, like, like you hear like, well, well okay, but I, I can't open the door from this side. We're not, we're, the, 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 Valky the, the, the ones from Valkyria, the Valkyrians and the Ganassi here, they, they, they keep us locked in. I, I don't, I can't open it from my side. I don't imagine the guards have keys on them, do they? Oh, I, they must. Like, yeah, they bring us food and stuff. So yeah, like guards, the guards absolutely. <laughs> you have banish the keys to Gideon Prime. <laughs> <laughs> At least one of the keys, the most accessible key. Um, but yes, a hundred percent. Shit, we've got to go to a different planet. Okay. We got to Gideon Prime. Bring him back. Guys. Okay. Bring him back. This is gonna be. This is gonna be a little bit more problematic Smith. than I thought. <laughs> I can't, like, unbanish just one of the guards, can I? No. I have to get rid of all three, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. You've got a key. <laughs> uh, you can try opening it another way. Yeah, um, where's this spell? I wish we had the knock spell. Yeah. Mm, that would be knock, great. Knock, great one, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, a good one. Spell. It's a great one. Red rarely gets used, old knock. Yeah. It's a good spell. I don't think we've ever used it in our entire, no. however many years we've been playing. It's actually, TV. whenever I make, like, um, wizard characters when the rare opportunities I get to play, if I, get, I'm, or, I always take knock, because it's so I, I, I legit don't even know what knock is. It literally opens any lock thing. And if it's, like, if it's magically locked, it has, you basically make a check on if you can beat the original, like, caster level. Oh, I should have known about that one. It's a, it's a, I don't, <laughs> it's a wizard spell, so I yeah, don't well, get it. I'm a wizard. You're a level two. <laughs> yeah, well. Um, so what's the plan? I'll say I, I'd like, say that basically in like maybe two minutes, Nova and Fuego will will get there. Um, yeah, I'm going to say to this guy like, okay, I'm going to try and unlock this door, but while I'm unlocking it, are there any other students I need to worry about? Are there any particularly jumpy, loud, uh, spooked by things easily? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, yes. I mean, all, kind of all of those things. Um, I mean, right. I, I I know a little bit. Uh, uh, I mean, how are you going to get us out as well? Like, th this whole place is swarming with guards and and Samson's in his chair. Like, th this is going to be really hard. I just banished okay. two guards, one extremely high to level. That. What? You did not listen to Yeah, you didn't hear that last bit, did you? He said Samson is still in his chair. Who's Samson, buddy? <laughs> Look. <laughs> Tom. I, I heard it. <laughs> 
talking to you. I'm just <laughs> being trapped in like, problem. He's that's, solving one problem at yeah. a time here. I'm gonna get will, to that room when I get to that room. Yeah. But first, <laughs> I, he said that while I was also going for deal spe- dispel magic. Dispel magic. That's how he, how he cast dispel. dispel. <laughs> magic. Did it work? Uh, she's one creature, object, or magical effect within range. Any spell of third level or lower. Okay. Uh, uh, whatever magic is sealing this door ends. I you successfully dispel it. Open the door slowly. And you uh, were going to get the key back from you. You, <laughs> you dispel the magical seal. It is still <laughs> physically locked. <laughs> Why would they only do one? I did say there was a keyhole. I do, I do remember not picking stuff, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, doors are gonna defeat us again. Okay. <laughs> One step closer to getting you out of here. I okay. just need to go down the rest of these doors and I'll be back, okay? Okay. What were you saying about the chair? <laughs> so, well, Samson, he, he's in a wheelchair. Like, uh, we can't exactly, like. Oh, uh, like, I thought it was like there was something awful. Like, some boss that was in one of the rooms. Was, like, <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, no, he's in one of no, the. No, I genuinely one of the that. Students I, is in a wheelchair. I, I, yeah. Well, like a James uh, Bond chair, like Ultima <laughs> Solace. I'll t- turn around no, and some guy with I a cat on his lap. No, genuinely, I thought there was going to be like some, some Samson, device the man of the chair. that right. was like The AI locking... in control, no, no. Oh, it's, it's one of the students is, is in a wheelchair, and this cool. person doesn't know how you're getting them out, so they're like, that That's could be a problem. Wheel them out. That should be fine. That okay. should be fine. All right. You've got uh, levitate. Yeah, levitate them. I don't think I'll need Down to. I don't think I'll need to. If he's in the ethereal, he doesn't need to worry yeah. about yeah. it. All right. In that case... Um, I will go to the next door. Are you going to cast a spell magic on every door? Yeah. Uh, do you have enough spell slots to do that? Uh, so... You've only got four thr- one, le- third two, levels. Three, four, five. Just done it. So you're going to use fourth level spells? <laughs> and two fifth levels. Two, wow, so He's you are literally... Really like, gone for it. He just went down his list and... Yeah, I mean, you kind of... Un- you, you, whatever Poppy. magic is... Like Spider-Man yeah, 3. But, but it's, I mean, you also... I think that you would pick up... my ninth level. <laughs> so it's, um, to be honest. It, it wasn't just magic sealing the doors. These were all alarmed as well. Like, oh. has removed that as well. It's oh. removed any of these kind of like magical protections. I'd love if we got to the end and there was just like a little control panel that's like the yeah. <laughs> 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 Amazing. Um, in the time it takes you to do that, we'll say Fuego and Nova basically arrive at this point. Can you just, for my benefit, please, Kim, because you are invisible, but invisibility doesn't stop you making noise. Can you make a stealth check for me, please? And because I, Rhiannon, if Yo. you go into extras, can you get Fuego stats up? Uh-huh. And can you make a stealth check for him, please? 18. 18? Isn't, um, doesn't invisible you give you advantage? advantage? No, it gives you advantage if you are, I mean, it doesn't give you advantage, and if it's sight based, you just can't see them. Oh, um, okay. More like, yeah. yeah. Pass without a trace gives you, like, the bonus and stuff, but. Eight. Yeah, invisibility technically doesn't give you advantage. It's invisible. It just, yeah, you can't see them as long as they're not doing anything else. Flying around. Uh, if you go to extras tab mm. and search for f- F-U-E-G-O. F-U-C-K-Y-O-U. Or if anybody else can get them up. If not, I can roll them. It's just um, I want to get you guys involved. Fuego ain't coming up. I got Diego. Oh, wait. I have to add an extra. Fuego. Uh, yeah, you have to add sidekick, I think. I've it? got him, but I don't know how to read creature stats. <laughs> there he is. You got right, him? Chris, try you got him. Can you roll a stealth for him, please? Oh, plus nine. Yeah, there you go. I use the glitter dice available on freshstore.co. Wow. Amazing. That thing got me through the chip. Don't use point. them. Don't buy them. Well, <laughs> that's wrong. That's two. Them. Two. Plus his whiz, is it? Four, yeah. seven, Plus nine. Six. Five. No. But also, look at his skills. It, it's nine. <laughs> plus plus nine. Plus, plus nine. Oh, he's got a plus nine. Wisdom! <laughs> We've played this game for six years, Chris. <laughs> he's in two campaigns right wow. now as well. Boy, <laughs> that makes it worse. Yeah. <laughs> You hid in the shadow so That's well, you're saying. so He's wise. Two- <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very I can see the darkness. Yeah. Um, That's fine. It's just good to know. Uh, can You and Fuego, can you lose a hit dice each, please? Sure. Uh, I will mark Fuego's. I don't think we can do it on the app. We can't do it on the app. Mm. Uh, you can't do it for stat blocks either, for Fuego. Oh, oh you mean uh, the for yourselves, yeah. You can't add uh, sidekicks. You do have managed, oh. managed to get there. Um, there is a period where you basically have to awkwardly hold in a very kind of awkward position for where he goes like, because a guard is like changing on the thing and you basically have to like squeeze up as these guards go past you, remaining as still as you can, holding your breath. 
Uh, again, I'm that physical Nazi. exertion. Yeah, that's true. But still, physical <laughs> exertion and everything else. Um, but eventually you find Quill as he's just finished, like, running down the hallway, zap, 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 zap. <laughs> I'm looking panicked. <laughs> I'm now, like, looking through my bag, like, I don't have any lock picks. Why didn't I bring any lock picks? I think both of us are still going to be invisible just listening to this, and I'm like, just, just, okay. just give me it. Maybe I can um, fashion something. Uh, does anyone... Do you need some help, Quill? <laughs> Yeah. You look stressed. Also, if you were going to do this whole thing by yourself, why did we come? Because I kind of knew that he might need help. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. But I don't get why he... Why did you let us come if you thought you were going to take care of all of it? Honestly, just inclusivity. Right. Nice. <laughs> I, well, you could leave me. if you want. Cool. I know. I, please. Like, I, I managed to... There were three guards here. I banished them. They're never coming back. Well, they might come back, but they'll have to travel a very, very long way. Um, I, I got rid of all the magic on the doors. Oh my god! And uh, now I just need I need them unlocked, and I don't have any lock picks. And I don't know how long until the next set of guards come down. Nova, okay. probably not that long. Probably not that long. Uh, does Fuego know how to lock pick and stuff as well? Yeah, in a row? yeah, he's, yeah. yeah. Are you pretty good at it. Well, lock picks. Can we both? Yeah. Get going. Sure. Uh, picking locks. Yeah. Uh, spending time, you're going to have to roll. Uh, Fuego is with his plus nine and being trained in it. I'm just going to hit it. He can do it quite naturally. So. I've got a plus eight, but I'm not Good. trained in it. But you're not trained in it. So but for I you... Pr I practiced yeah. in the yeah. little yeah. quarter. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. But still going to be rolls. Um, so, yeah. If you make... Just make one check for me and then... Sixteen. Sixteen. Um, I don't think sixteen is going to cut it, actually. These are decent locks. Um, I'd say with Fuego's help, you can do it, but it takes, takes time. time. And by the time the two of you have finished physically unlocking these doors, you begin to hear... Oh, no. How would that work? It's technically a sending spell. Can you roll a d20 for me, please? And let me know if you roll a one. <laughs> Wait, why? Let's roll a 5% chance. Yeah. Yeah. This is coming. Because they're on a different plane of existence. Five. All right. Oh. Oh. There is a. Well, you I mean this? Side. This is something happening elsewhere, and Basically. then as you guys finish unlocking, because it takes you several minutes of like going and kind of like doing that kind of thing, you begin like Quill. Your, right, your perception, you right. there is rapid footsteps coming up to this floor, as in like you can hear like a forces have been alerted, somehow. Oh, because the, probably the first yeah, they, they, they checked in. They it was like yeah. a like, hey, alpha team that. check in, Fun sending way. spell, <laughs> sending stone check in. Like, yeah, there's a bloody, like, they banished <laughs> yeah. us to Gideon Prime. <laughs> Get him! Oh, that is so. I left my teddy so bear behind. Sim so simply clever. <laughs> You know, like that's obviously what they that's would what do. You do, right? But like, do you think it, they just it, get together. Right, right, right. Like, it wouldn't be instantaneous. Well, they would yeah, have yeah. to wait until that team will find like, someone. You know, lab team check in, and yeah. it's like, you know, like bad guys in an action movie, yeah. right? They're just like elevator team. Where are you? Yeah. They've gone silent. <laughs> you know, but this time they can be like, he fucking sent us to another plane. <laughs> like, get him. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> but yeah, you, you've got, you, like, you, you've but, got, like, s like seconds, seconds, like, rounds. All of the students are... You, like, you open the doors, you unlock them out. There's a gathering of five of them. They're all pretty young. Like, they're all between 15 and, like, 19, I would say, like, being young mm. students. Um, one is in a wheelchair. You can see, like, an ornate sort of uh, iron and sort of wood-created uh, wheelchair. Um, one of them looks particularly sick. Like, they might be, like, you know, some sort of cold or flu or something like that. Oh, um, I'm going to affect the inferior dimension. But, uh, yeah, they uh, <laughs> they sort of all get gathered. But they, they're now looking at you with wide it's eyes, like... Band no, or something. <laughs> The guards, we can hit, like, we, we should get back in our rooms. Like, they're, they're like, oh, no, this was a terrible idea. Like, they're freaking out. Okay, it's not a terrible idea. You guys, you need to go invisible now. Not here. The, you guys, Fuego and Nova and uh, students, we're about to go somewhere else. You need to follow me as close as you can. Okay. <laughs> and then what's... what's <laughs> that is ninth level ethereal. Ninth level ethereal-ness. Okay. Um, so anything within... Uh, well, it's it's you choose the creatures that can do it. Yeah, but if they if they around me, then they come with me. Okay. Um, all right. Quill and the students all vanish. What are Fuego and Nova doing? You can definitely take all of them. Do you have any space for anyone else as well? Nope. Or? He does yeah, not. It's, I, it's six me, people, including two. him. Uh, I got a spell slot and I'm going go invisible. Okay. Thank and God. then what are you doing once <laughs> you're invisible? Like hang, like hiding in this hallway or? 
Are there any rooftops around? Yeah, you could go up to the roof. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm sure Fuego can help. Like, just like do what? Like, get to the roof? Get us on the roofs or something like that. I mean, that. you can. This, this is a building. You can go up to the roof. Like, this is like a dorm building. You could go up to the roof of this building. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. Right. You begin making your way up, uh, which convenient. Yeah, there's no guards coming down, um, so you begin making your way up. Quill, at this point, you're in the clear. Ethereus. <laughs> I've got nothing, I, I literally have no way of doing anything about that. You can fly through the walls, you lead these kids to safety. Mission successful, jo job done. Um, Commander? Yeah. We got him. <laughs> we, we got him. Uh, I'm gonna make a couple of skill checks for the pursuing guards. You uh, might need to tell Ayla. I'm waiting for you to lead you to the safe house. <laughs> I mean, uh, how many spell slots do I have left? Because this cost a lot. Um, all I can picture is the Army of the Dead. Just Quill as the Army of the Dead from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> just moving Stop through floating. the mist, wispy, <laughs> windy boy. Except for being really vicious, they're just a bit like... Uh, uh, right. uh. Nova. Hi! You and Fuego make your way up. The sound of heavy armoured boots, uh, the sound of elemental energy and magic being summoned calls out. You can hear the sounds just like... hear like echoing voices like, Go, go, go! Check it, check the rooms. You kind of hear it. It becomes slowly muffled. Can you make a perception check for me, please? If you pick up on the rest I'm of the really conversation. I'm really good at perception. Yep. That's a natural one. The blood's just pumping in your ears. Like you just, you don't hear anything. And you and Fuego are just, <gasps> you burst out onto the roof of the Atlas Academy, kind of going up a proper fire escape. You kind of come out onto like this kind of open uh, floored plaza. Um, I'm going to say that there is like a kind of almost like a a glass triangle on the... Actually, no, this is the dorm. There's maybe, like, a central shaft that goes all the way down, which is almost like funneling air to circulate through, but it's it's basically just a... 400 feet drop to the bottom. I like, like this. This is a tall, tall, tall building. You reach the roof, you realise that you can see the main Atlas Academy campus uh, towards you. That's maybe a hundred feet drop down from this building. You can see a big glass kind of pyramid shape that's got this giant globe in the middle with all the kind of, it's like a museum centerpiece, right? The center of the main academy. You can see there are lights, all dozens of magical lights all around you, almost like spotlights and kind of like floodlights and things like that around the Atlas Academy. Um, but there's no way down. There's no nearby buildings except for that main academy building down there. And the sound of those boots, by the time you realize they're about to come out onto the roof, having tracked whoever was causing problems, they have done the default thing of being like, well, keep going up, see if they're up there. Uh, again, you have seconds here to decide what you and Fuego are gonna do. Otherwise, these guards are about to burst out onto the roof alongside you. Can I ask Fuego if he's able to sort himself out, or like... <laughs> like <laughs> he gestures, like, I can't oh see yeah, that. let yeah, me just get my portable parachute I carry around Well, Invisible, I can't see that. I mean, you can hear. <laughs> yeah, you hear and be like, no! <laughs> what, why, why did we come up here? You want to go downstairs through the guards? Uh, I just did what you said. I thought you knew what you were doing. Like, okay, that's like six seconds. You maybe got like six seconds. What are you doing? I kind of want to... I kind of want to have him stay invisible and see, like, if I'm a point of distraction, if he can slip behind, like, still invisible, yeah. slip behind, get him way, his way to the clear. Yeah, I mean, if you can make a decent enough distraction to convince them that, you know, you, you're the thing that they're after, absolutely. In which case... Yes? <laughs> Charles' face. It's 90 feet. Might do a little thunder step. To where? Down. To where? Because you said it's 100 foot down. To the top of the Atlas Academy main building. That's like still 300 up. feet off the street level. But you could then go from there to somewhere else and these guys would be Ooh. stuck up here. I might use my equips to twin blades. To do? That special ability with Do the... you have them with you? Yeah, because yeah, I made right. Tiangong you master, a little, you master them as Tiangong. A little right. cute dagger. Mm-hmm. I don't know if 60 feet is enough, though. 
tell me what you want to do and then I can answer the question. Basically, like, create a distraction with me just physically manifesting. Yeah, you're and like, you would appear out of his and be like, I'm here, guards are like, there she is, and then you try and get away. Yeah. But what's the equips to blade thing that you want to do? What's the actual, like, how are you going to get off this building? 60 foot aura, and then you can teleport within it, but 60 foot isn't enough. Wouldn't, and it also, like, the gap, like, it's, it's 100 feet down, but I'd say it's about, sort of, like, 100 feet, like, gap to yeah. this building as well. I can also levitate. Yeah, you can levitate down. You can descend Just at what, like, rate of 20 feet around or something like that? You descend at with levitate? Yeah. Okay, it's quite slow. Dimension door anymore. I know, it sucks. <laughs> um, you can thunder step, though. A 10 foot drop is d6 damage. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, because, as well, thunder step isn't concentration, so I would still be maintaining concentration on Fuego. Yeah, okay. So that's the plan, right? In yeah. Six seconds, you're like, stay there. You basically say, tell Fuego, stay there, be quiet. Um, He'll do that. So he like pushes himself up. He actually goes around to the other side of where the guards are going to come out and he like flattens himself there, like trying to be quiet as possible. And then what, you're going to move to the edge, cancel invisibility on yourself so the guards see you as they come out. And if any of them are within 10 foot, they might take a little bit. They won't be within 10 feet of you, okay. no, unfortunately. Okay. All right, so you see uh, not an Inquisitor, but another sort of like well-equipped Magitech Ooh. Knight leading a group of Rifle Corps uh, burst out onto the scene. They're looking around. They catch you as you've dropped invisibility in yourself. Like, there's one, get them! Well, and then what, you cast Thunderstep? Says apparently I can actually teleport him with me. You can teleport one willing creature of your size or smaller. Okay. But I might leave him to, because I think he's pretty good on his own, to be honest. I'd say at so. this point we've already established that he, yeah, you've told him to be quiet. And yeah, he's, gonna he's good on it. his own. So right, yeah, I'm okay. going to, yeah, so at the last second, I'll. Um, thunder step away All right. and then <laughs> you appear the kind of like crack and it's it leaves a 300 it's like a thunderous boom thunder step we're gonna hear that yeah you hear that up to 300 and, foot away and it would it. echo through the city as well like it's enough that like for you it's quite quiet you're like was that thunder like um, it's clear sky you know there's no storm um, just the nova storm <laughs> 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 yeah, you're gonna say Set the noise you're two, point, <laughs> two points of bludgeoning damage as you kind of land ten Holy feet from shit. above, um, and you land on Both top of the uh, thing. <laughs> um, what do you do? So you land. They're still up on this route. Like, what's your plan? Are you running for like where? Because now you're in a building that's three hundred foot off the street level, but there's you know there's this big glass pyramid. You could try and climb down. Like, what's the plan? So to I get can down do several things. I can misty step. I can teleport using my echo. I can levitate. Echo teleport is like 60 feet. Uh, 30 feet. Okay. Um, but I can do it continuously. Uh, I can levitate. But then you have to summon it within yeah, a certain range of you. Fine. So you can summon feet. it, teleport to it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, levitate. Oh, it's like 20 foot dissension, right? At uh, speed of 20 levitate feet. Levitate is... So imagine... I can rise vertically up to 20 foot. But if I concentration up to 10 minutes, but my idea that this pyramid to get down is like it, levitating. It, no, it's like a pyramid on top of the building, like a kind yeah. of reverse of the Louvre, right? It's got like this Well, if glass I'm trying thing. to get down to the ground, yes. if I could just like push myself down, like if I levitate myself. So you would go to the falling. side of the building. Yeah. Because the pyramid's like in the middle of the building. It's like an open sort of skylight almost down yeah. into like the museum. You could go to the side of the building, then you would levitate down and then, and then use yourself down. to like levitate down. I mean, yeah, you'd be going at like 20 feet around basically to do so that. That's probably too slow. Also, I mean, I mean, it would break. Things. It would break, it would break concentration on Fuego, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I thought you were pointing at the other thing. So at this point, the guards have reached the side of the building looking down as you're kind of trying to figure out what you're going to do. They begin, like, look, pulling their rifles up to take shots as you're on this big kind of open, you know, academy-like building top. Rooftop. What if I slide down the pyramid? It, it doesn't go down. It's it's on top of the building, is what I'm trying to describe. Like, imagine you've got, it's like, a, a big feature. university building. It's like a roof feature. But what if I slide down it and then cast Levitate when I'm just but, about to drop? But I don't understand what you mean, slide down it. It's on she top of the building. That, yeah. Oh, I think I'm above she it. She thinks she's above it. No, no. It's, you're on the rooftop. <laughs> and there's a big glass pyramid in front Going of you up. that's, like, and then inside, it, like, looks down in on the building. Gotcha, I'm with right. you now. That's fine. That's like, it's hard I'm here. to try and get through. I've arrived. Here she is. Here I am, rocking like a hurricane. It's a glass, so I can see into the glass. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> is, there, is there a thing?
thing that I is there a part on the wind on the building that I can see Inside, through? Inside, like if you look through this glass. So I can summon Tian Gong there and then swap places with them. Um, I would say that that what that glass pyramid looks down on into is like this big, um, big open display, like the like yeah. a main courtyard of a museum building, right? And this is like a and you actually there's like a miniature version of the Atlas statue. Um, there's like a and it's like you know a replication a replica of the city. Mm -hmm. It's got all these displays. Some of which are suspended from the ceiling. I would say that you could definitely Jurassic Park it. <sighs> What's the range? The, the Tiangong teleport is only like thirty, 30. feet, though. Yeah. Um, so you have to summon in thirty feet and then uh, teleport them to them. Sorry, um, which is the same as your Misty Step. I would say you can do this. Uh, make a so using a combination of the spells and the teleport make a acrobatics check for me because the only thing that you can get to appears to be a model of the very first air ganassi wing glider it's basically like a plane model <laughs> and it's like, like suspended right on the ceiling it's like yeah. right brothers oh, plane okay. suspended cool. and you can teleport to that and then from there there's like another Swing thing down. that you can go to and then there's maybe rafters and things like that oh god what'd you get Five. <laughs> okay, a couple of things happen. You run to the to the glass prism, like summoning, like you know, preparing. <laughs> As these force rifles from the Valkyrian troops are like slamming into the gravelly stone rooftop around you, you're Jason borning it, like doo -doo 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 -doo, running. That's when you hear like, keep firing, leave her to me as the Tech Knight uh, <laughs> summons oh, a, tech knight. a dimension door oh, and do. appears ahead of you, of right by do. the glass window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoosh, roll initiative for me, Nova. Oh, I should have brought some lockpicks. <laughs> <laughs> as he's floating through etherealness. Well, I, I, yeah, I was how gonna, far away are you, I was gonna ask, he is, like, You are well beyond this, because you're going in another direction as well. Oh, OK. Like, you're heading towards the safe house. To me? Because um, probably a walk. You're going to be at walks. It was an hour away yeah. from the Atlas Academy. So even oh, no, going I, as I the thought I was place, like closer no, to the, Atlas. The, and well, you were, yeah, you were going to be like halfway them. house, right? So 30 minutes away. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. 16. That's okay. 16 on Nova's initiative. Can I just briefly cut back to Sentry and Lucius <laughs> playing yeah, the cards? Yeah, I'm really sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, uh, it's a funny visual. We're just playing cards. Yeah, like, like wonder how they're doing. fish. Snap. Oh, you even beat me again. Sorry. You're so good at this. Uh, uh, and then back to like. <laughs> what the hell are the others are getting on? I do. What I do. Man, this is fun. Though. I mean, the yeah. thing is, well, it, it wasn't even your fault, Tom. I literally rolled the saving yeah. throw, and that's caused yeah. this reaction. Um, and then, it, and then it's decisions, <laughs> right? Uh, but it makes so great content. Um, unfortunately, Nova, the Phase Knight will be going first. Oh, uh, damn, they cool. re they look in your direction, and the first thing they do is they have. Um, Basically, like a hilt of a sword and a force blade. Oh, that's so yes! cool! Yes! Uh, <laughs> I want to join them, you're Kylo not, Ren you're style. Not going anywhere. I kind of want to yes. join you, dude. Uh, and he's gonna oh, rush up blade. and uh, oh, purple. Purple, yeah. Of course, it is. on brand. Uh, runs up. Is gonna take two strikes. That's cool. Let's just join. Uh, the first yeah. one is a 17 to hit. No. I think these disguises are bad. Next one is going to be a 18 to hit. <laughs> no. All right. Using the tiny dagger, do you keep it in the dagger form or are you going to manifest it as the twin blades now? I don't know. All right. Well, either way. I think I probably would like be. You're dodging, yeah, like weaving. Yeah. Kind of clashes around you. Um, he kind of remains in the place trying to kind of lock you in, in the spot. Um, would you, oh, all right. Damn it, what do you I was going to try and... Can I still try and, like, teleport you? Weather yeah, absolutely the, you can. Yeah, yeah, absolutely you can. Yeah. Into the room, so, yeah, like, try and get away. Yeah, absolutely you can. So, can I see a You, you see the plane. <laughs> yeah, the so manifest, manifest Tiangong. Echo. Bonus action, manifest Echo. And then... And you can teleport okay. just as your movement, uh, actually. Let Let's check that. If not, you can Misty Step. I can Misty Step, so I'm just going to Misty Step. For now, we're just going to Misty Step. Check on the Tiangong just so we know for the future. All right, so you bonus action, Misty Step. Um, you landed on the uh, on the plane itself. That acrobatics check that you rolled earlier, uh, as you land on it, one of the ding, yeah. and it begins to swing, and you slide yeah. and you fall, okay. um, and you fall onto the next highest thing, which is actually the statue of the miniature statue of Atlas itself. That is still going to be a pretty hefty drop. Mm -hmm. um, it took like ten artisans. 
five years. I imagine she'd be apologizing. Yeah. yeah. Fourteen points of bludgeoning damage, and you kind of like stumble. You catch your arm onto like a joint of it. You're swinging there, holding on, um, but it's still your turn. Remind me how to do a concentration check. Uh, DC uh, it is a Constitution saving throw. Uh, the DC for this would be ten. Sixteen. You pass. No, fifteen. You yeah. pass. So Fuego is still invisible. Okay. Cool. Can I just? Uh, I just want to do something real quick. Sure. Yeah, do that while I check. Uh, you get ascending. Nice. You can technically do it in Metal Gear. Just pause a boss fight, like. <laughs> I've noticed your health is quite low. We should take some rations. <laughs> um, that was a pretty loud noise I just heard, Nova. Are you okay? That was me. I'm being chased by all the guards. Go away. Hi. That's the sending. Oh, okay. Uh, not clear skies, not clear skies, not clear skies! <laughs> Nova, okay. still, your, still your turn. You have your action, you have your move left. I have my action and my move. Okay, you are so... currently climbing. You are technically, at this point, you are climbing the statue. It's half movement when climbing unless you have something else. Would it make any difference? It wouldn't make any difference if... No. If I cast control weather... Oh. And I tried Ooh. to make a lot of, if I made it a storm, just yeah. to get noise in yeah. the area. Oh, oh sounds nice. pretty good. I like this. <laughs> Control I need a weather. Yeah, the thing I'm going to check on this <laughs> Go is ahead. fasting time. So 10 minutes. It's 10 minutes. But they're still far away, uh, and people are still traveling for 30 and, minutes. And it would still, so... it would also give context to that thunder blast. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm thinking is that Ayla, as soon yeah. as she heard that thunder blast, she was like, ah. There's only one thing that can cover be. it. Yeah, you, uh, the the hammer, which has been sort of like in the backpack and like disguised, like you pull yeah. out the howling templist and you begin concentrating, um, and you do begin to see the, this clear night sky that was previously clear, faint wisps of cloud over the ten minute skin pulling in. But that's going to take ten minutes. Meanwhile, minutes. Nova Vija hanging on. Uh, what do you do? Uh, you so, can see the phase knight looking down from this glass pyramid, like looking down towards you, blade in hand. It's like so soft. It's so hard I want to hate his it. blade. It's so hard to hate it. It'd be so cool. I want I his need to blade. Name this guy. Um, oh, yes. Roll yeah, up you're gonna get name. a full David. A full thunderstorm. Bonus. So bonus action is. Um, was Misty Step? Uh, yeah, no. So, so it is a bonus action to both summon and teleport. Okay, so you have um, to summon it and then the next round teleport. Okay. So but I've still it. got action and move. Can I use them both, like to dash and like? You've got a move. Yeah, you've got movement yeah, so action. Movement and action. Yeah, to, to dash climb down and basically. Get down, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, you begin climbing down. It's because it's half movement, so you go about thirty feet down the statue. You fell from where you were. You fell fifty feet. Uh, you kind of slammed on the thing, you climb down. That gets you to like Atlas's back where he's kind of like reclined position. <laughs> gone from his head down to his back now. You are still technically going to be, uh, I'd say 30, 50, um, that's 80, 220 feet off like the street level. But you can see Wait. that there's actually now like a circular like, uh, like a, uh, like a, floor with this like circular cut that you could maybe get to and then you could find your way down through the building basically. Mm -hmm. I feel um, like 90% of Nova's combat turns this entire campaign falling, involves falling. either falling <laughs> or like you are 220 feet away, you need to cover drop. this distance. I'll drop. Oh my god. Just drop, I choose yeah. to drop. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you get? What'd you get? Oh no. What's he ro what are you rolling? Names. <laughs> I rolled the phase knight's name. Uh, I'm using the good guys at uh, Roll and Play gave me this oh, book for free. Nice. Okay. And I, I knew it had a character name thing, and I, you know how terrible I am at coming with character names. This this tech knight is called Octavius. Oh! Yes! 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 Can he shout that at me so I can write that down? My I'm... name is Octavius, and you I will, will die. die. <laughs> you will die. I right. will die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Octavius and I have terrible self-esteem. You're climbing down. The phase knight is going to look in your direction because he can see you down through it. He's used his dimension door, um, but he has an ability as a bonus action called Blink Step. Of course he does. Teleport 60 feet. Oh, damn, this guy's cool. uh, ha But he has to basically do it where he gets to the top of the plane. Um, which you were at, which is, you know, 50 That's feet really above really rare, you. be careful! Uh, he's like, he's swinging, I'm gonna have, I'll make an acrobatics check for him because you Swag. broke one of the things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natural one. <laughs> oh! oh! He falls and dies! He takes, uh, 10, he falls 16 points feet. of bludgeoning. Damn. But he grabs on next to where you were, <laughs> like above, um, and then he actually, no, it'd be, it'd be you are 110 feet down, actually, because I forgot the initial 30 feet. 
Uh, so I'm just going to put something here. 110 feet. He's now uh, 80 feet. So he's 30 yeah, feet above you. Um, of interest. This, this give, guy's... Me, give, give me one second, dude. <laughs> That's my head. He bonus my action head. teleported. He fell 50 feet. He has his move and his action left. Oh. Uh, for his action, he cast Fly on himself. Ah. Uh, and begins hovering like... Vroom. Uh, he... he uses his move action to get next to you. That's his whole turn, Nova. He's a poo face. <laughs> He's the worst possible potential guy to come oh, after you. Face. But it's great. It's great. I I'm so it. sorry for Ian Trot. Like, no, 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 so no, no. this is good. Well, if you had something for me to come back to, I would cut that between cool. like, you. The, you're the, back the in the safe watch. house and you just yeah, hear you a just storm raging like overhead. <laughs> well, I want to do your turn. Nice. Then we're going to take a break. Yeah. We should stay inside tonight. Yeah. <laughs> you right. Oh, yeah. Let's just, there's a storm brewing. <laughs> it's very quick it's come about, yeah, isn't it? Weird, it's almost like it's magic. That <laughs> <laughs> no, can't be us, right? There's no way. Like it just cuts off in a circle. Yeah. And it's like near the academy. It's really weird. It's blue. It's like ominous. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I know, I know another card game. Let's go. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's weird. There's some spicy noodles. Mm. Mm. Oh, you want to play? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you play this uh, great game that the Seekers have come up with called Coup. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the dude! Double jukes! <laughs> <laughs> I get very angry. <laughs> okay. I think I know what I'm going to do. All right, hit me. I just got a flashback to when Mark got really angry at him playing. <laughs> he <laughs> always gets angry at me. You moron! <laughs> yeah, you fucking you moron. Yeah, you fucking, fucking moron. moron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> So I'm thinking that I'm going to have to engage. So I'm thinking okay. manifesting Tiangong. Right. And I'm thinking equips, equips with me. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Because if I move, he has he has an opportunity, doesn't he? Yep. I mean, you could disengage. You can use your action to disengage, and then you get your movement. But you are still climbing on. The, you're actually no, you're on the statue's back, so you're not climbing at this point. But you've got a choice. You can either basically continue making your way down to like the base of um, the Atlas statue, and then you would be like, now you would climb down from the plinth that it's on, or you can jump across to where there's this like circular like uh, obs uh, observation level, and then you might be able to find stairs that go down or something like that. Imagine like a kind of big circular kind of uh, ring observation floor that's looking down on it. I kind of want to jump. <laughs> jump? Wait, no. Okay. Go I've. I got, I got an idea. Sure. I'm going to manifest Tiangong yes. on the circular thing. Now I know I can. Okay, so within 30, yeah. Okay, yeah, so like you see Tiangong, so there's there. shadowy form, which looks like Tiangong, like on this thing, like looking in your direction. Bonus action. Action. Wield the twin blades. I mean, that's not an action. You can do that as part of any action. You can draw draw the oh, weapon. Wait, no, it's a bonus action to do this. So I can't, I can't manifest Tiangong because what I'm going to do is use my bonus action to create uh, I, you Re might have to correct me on this. Sure, let me let me get it's it. It's creating both the crescent of light and the crescent of darkness to create the eclipsed moon. No, you have so it's one at a time. You ah! Crescent, and then you create another crescent, and it's you build up to the eclipse. Uh, what special ability that these things have? Or where the stuff? Full moon. Uh, ah, yes, full as moon. a bonus action, you can expect. Totally so I'll read this out. As a bonus action, you can expend one charge and create either a crescent of light or a crescent of darkness for one minute until you lose concentration, just as if you were concentrating on a spell. If you create both a crescent of light and a crescent of darkness, they merge to become an eclipsed moon instead. So you would use a bonus action to create one, and then next turn you could use a bonus action to create another one, and then they would become the eclipsed moon. Oh, cool. And what does that do? I'm not going to tell you. Until it comes into, a, until it happens in game. There's two moons. Okay, so what I'm thinking then is bonus action Tiangong on the thing, and I'm going to try and jump to them and get onto that. All right, do you want to use your action to disengage? Yeah. All right, okay. This would be because the jump's more than your strength score. Can you make an athletics uh -oh. check, please? Oh, God. Can Tiangong like, just help in any way? Like, grab nope. me or anything? Nope. Why not? Because they don't have an action to use the help action. Does Tiangong look like Nova? Yeah. That's Tiangong looks like a. It would be hard to know it's Nova because Tiangong's very, like made of a nebula, almost like this kind of glowy spectral blue dark Slow form. Can yeah. Nova decide what form they take when they manifest? They can. I can't. Yeah. Um, how big is the fall? What did you roll on your athletic? I haven't rolled it. Oh, you haven't rolled it yet. Um, it's I would say to the next thing, uh, the next floor below it, I would say is going to be a seventy foot drop. 
And then how you would many? have a saving throw to grab a ledge. Basically. And how much damage is that? That'd be like, 76. That's quite a lot, isn't it? It's not. It's, it's okay. Well, it depends how well. Yeah. Level 18. That was not a throw, that was me dropping the dice. <clears throat> if he rolls all ones, it's just seven. <laughs> so... Not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> what if it's all sixes? Well, then it's not good, is it? I think in the panic <laughs> of the moment, she's going to jump. All right. Oh, come on, Nova. <laughs> I have a minus two. two. I know. You got this. So what's your strength score normally? It's like seven. Minus two. Yeah, but what's the score? Seven. Seven. So that means with a running jump. OK, all right, roll. You got to, you've got to make 16 feet up with this roll. So <laughs> see what you roll. No, they literally cannot. You've just summoned them. You're mid-air. They have nothing. They have no way to provide you assistance. Yours, I believe. Natural 20! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That took a second to sink in. That really did. I was like, oh, God, is she okay? But it's an 18 because it's minus I looked at it like an 18. I don't know how that works. You, so the way I was going to do this was you needed 16 feet. I was going to make it DC 16. Oh, that's just... not normally how it works, but that's how I was going to run it. You took pity. So you run, you Make jump, noise. and it's not even, like, it's close, but it's enough that you don't, there's no question. Like, you, and you land to the other side next to Tiangong on this kind of observational sort of level looking around. Uh, Octavius, as is now being decided. <laughs> fly over. You can run, but you won't get away. Uh, and just, like, hovers in the air. And that's the point where we're going to take our break. Jeez. I think I've wet myself. So, uh, and just and just so we know, like, when we come back, what I would normally do is, like, basically, if Nova can get to a point where she can easily get away, then we'll just yeah. call it there, and it'll be like, right, spend some hit dice and you get away yeah. with this. But you need to get, get to that point yeah. where you can get away. Because <laughs> right now, this dude is on your butt. <laughs> this is pretty exciting. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Um, and uh, I also, during the break, need to make some calculations and decisions in my head about things like incognito scores. Oh, God. And yeah. things like that. Um, We're super incognito right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I kind of burnt my disguise on night one. <laughs> so that's it for part one. What an exciting part one. Yeah. We'll see you in part two for more High Rolls d d See you soon. Goodbye. Oh, man. You should see the table right now. It's just like Katie's got her head in her hands. Tom's like just got a look of like the you experience he'd just gone through. Trot and Ree just having a lovely time. Yeah. Just, I mean, just, we're great. watching Mission Impossible. Yeah, the movie. just watching yeah. a movie. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, well, I mean, you can see Kim. Look, look, look that up. natural twenty, man. Yeah, it's a good clutch. <laughs> hey, yeah. thanks so much. We'll be back in five minutes. We're just going to take a short break. Uh, don't forget, you can go check out. Fresh Fresh dot co. Oh my god. I put that dot wherever I want. Freshstore.co. Fresh Pick up the brand new merch collection. Fresh yeah. dot store. Fresh <laughs> That's it. We'll see you in five or few minutes. Get a drink. Five you, you just wish you were a man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back. Uh, I'm not sure how much of that got in, actually. It's the, one of those sessions. Uh, hey, welcome back uh, from the break. We hope you enjoyed the fan art video and all that good stuff. Um, we're going to do our little fade in, fade back out for the podcast. Enjoy. Man. Hello, welcome back to part two of High Rolls of Rois. Our party have begun a mission to escort and rescue a number of students from the Ganassi City's Atlas Academy. The mission has had its complications. <laughs> uh, and now we find ourselves, the students, successfully and safely being escorted via the ethereal plane by Quill. Ayla meeting them halfway. However, Nova is in a desperate flight uh, as a Valkyrian soldier is in hot pursuit. As now, she is making her way through the main sort of museum... I'm trying to think of like a chamber or like sort of, you know, main hall of mm. the sort of central Atlas Academy building, um, desperately trying to get away uh, to escape with her companions. And that's where we're going to jump back in and I want to try and uh, wrap it up so we can kind of get the whole crew back together again. No, that's uh, fun. But, <laughs> <laughs> to Nova, but... Yeah, to do that, Nova, if Nova can get away from this night, uh, this Valkyrian phase night, then she will have an opportunity to escape at the cost of some hit dice. Uh, but Nova Vija, 
Um, I believe you had taken your turn, hadn't you? Yeah, that so I'd just done my did. jumpy slow mo jump onto this mm -hmm. disc. Yeah, and this, uh, the Phase Knight, who I rolled up a random name for, Octavius, <laughs> Octavius. Um, is going to fly because they have the fly spell currently I'm active. A nerd. They're going to fly over to you and they're going to make attacks against you with their blazing sword. Uh, that is an 18 to hit, which I believe is nope. a miss. I thought you said 80. Yeah. 80. <laughs> it's like, ah! <laughs> no. Still unable to, like, really land a solid blow thanks to your kind of hidden disguised armor and the Eclipse Twin Blade uh, in your hand parrying aside. Um, you are, they are unable to land a strike, uh, but they are still in pursuit. Now, Vija, what would you like to do? So I have one with the shadows, which basically means I can use an action to merge with shadows and become invisible. Yes. But I feel yeah, like... If you stand still, you can't move. Yeah, I feel like if I was right in front of him, though, he'd be like... Well, also invisibility... So the way invisibility works is it's not like... It's not video game where, like, you go invisible and then the guard is like, Where'd she go? Uh, they can still detect you. They know roughly where you are. They can still make attacks against you. They just have disadvantage on attacks. Um, and then if you get away, if you were invisible and moved away, they would have to make perception checks to find you. You okay there? Yeah, we're good, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, it. We're having so a great good. time, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. As long as you're having fun. <laughs> I just... <laughs> don't give us laser pointers. No, uh -huh. I wish I, I wish we did. <laughs> Sorry, you're buying time for Kim to think. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm kind of wondering about, like, if I can get away and then use it, like... Yes, move that away. would certainly help. I think we'll try that. <laughs> okay. But I have to disengage, because... You don't have to, it's just that's how you prevent yeah. opportunity attacks. Um, brain dying a bit. It's fine, ask it, ask. Um, I'm just what we're here for. One with shadows is an action, so if I move... Yes, also... It'll only take me 30 feet, take 30 so yeah. he'd probably still be like, the fuck are you doing? Yeah. You would definitely need to get, I would say, you yeah, you need to at least get 60 feet away, like yeah. go down. You can see that there's like stairs leading down, yeah. but even then but you have to be still like for the one with shadows to do. Because he's flying, like mm -hmm. I can move for 60 feet and then next, but by the time he catches up and it's just like, it's never going to end. It's never going to end. So I think I might just have to start smacking him in the face, really. Um, sure. I think that's going to start happening. Um, so hell, let's just unleash everything I've got. Okay. Um, you have to bear with me because this is very new. Um, I think what I will do is I will bring up one of the crescents. Okay. I'm going to bring up the crescent of darkness. Uh, so a crescent of darkness, uh, if you create this, uh, you will create a 30 foot aura of magical shadows that create dim light. So it's not darkness, it's, it's like shadowy light. Um, at the start of your turn, you can choose one creature within the aura to gain half cover until the start of your next turn, or a creature to take 2d6 necrotic damage. Mm, cool. Uh, it's a bonus would action half, to summon, and it half, creates a 30 foot aura around you. Would half cover help me kind of slip away, maybe? No. no. Half cover would give you a plus 2 to AC and a plus 2 to dexterity saving throws, but not enough. You would need full cover to take the hide action, basically. Okay. Um, okay. Sorry, it's a... Yeah, yeah, it's I mean, a lot. I did not expect... just, I mean, you don't need to use cool powers. You could just be like, I'm going to attack him. I, wanna, like I just want to attack him with everything I've got, though. Sure. Um, like, I want to attack, attack again, attack another time, and then, like, you know, I just want to launch everything at this sure. guy. That, do that, then. Um, and, you know, maybe get to all, the point. all of the numbers should be done in D&D uh, &D Beyond, so you should just need to add the bonus, roll the dice, add the bonus. I was just <laughs> had advantage on attack? You, no, 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 I don't think no. so. Um, 22 to hit on the first one. 22 will hit. D6 plus 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, 12, just a basic attack. Mm -hmm. 1d4 radiant and 1d4 necrotic, is that right? Uh, it alternates, so it's 1d4 now. Your next attack will be 1d4 necrotic, I think. Actually, Three. no, I think I changed it. Uh, da, 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 let me read. Um, no, no, it's two, yeah, it's 1d4 radiant, 1d4 necrotic, you're right. Okay, so three radiant. Yep. Three necrotic. Okay, so another six. Uh, I 
think that's it. Yep. Yeah, yeah, because I don't have that yeah. anymore. That's, but then that's because right. I used my bonus action to create a crescent of darkness. Do you, you still wanted to do that? Yeah, I still want to do that. Okay. That's 2d6 necrotic. Yes. yes. Uh, at the start of your turn, you get to choose that. So right now, it's just shadowy aura around you. Next turn, you'll Next be able to turn. do 2d6. Okay. But that was only one attack. You've still got multiple attack. attacks. So Do you make concentration for the total damage taken? or uh, It would be per attack, so he makes concentration on the fly now. Uh, which he's gonna fail. Fly goes. Okay. So he's like now on the like he's stood next to you basically. Uh, uh, I rolled an eight again, he's so flying like five feet off the ground. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not gonna. Make him fall over. Uh, Twenty-two again. Twenty-two hits. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, regular damage. Mm -hmm. Uh, four necrotic and one radiant. Mm -hmm. You watch like these. This sort of fusillade of attacks is heavily taken a toll on him you can see that he's like staggering like like surprised that you are this adept in in battle i'm gonna go again okay uh your third attack so what's 13 plus 14 27 that hits um, nine points of regular the damage mm -hmm. uh four necrotic three radiant I'm gonna action surge. Oh my god. <laughs> Three more attacks. Big <laughs> boy. Oh, it was almost a natural Ooh. 20. It wasn't. But it rolled over to a 2, so that's a 16. Uh, that still technically hits him. Oh. Ooh. 11. Fuck him up. Wait, so you hit when you rolled a 2 on the d20? It's plus 14, yeah. yeah. 2 plus 14, 16. Uh, 11 regular damage, 3 radiant, 4 necrotic. And you can watch as this guy bleeding heavily from all Jesus. these deep lacerations from he doesn't have the eclipse time on the moon. The, the, as the blade <laughs> is hitting him as well, it's like leaving these scorching like lines of gold and silver and black oh, of, cool. of the eclipse twin blade Ooh. as well, similar to Kalara's attacks. 25 Ooh. to hit. Hits. 13 regular damage, 2 necrotic, 2 radiant. With that, the last one, Nova, he cuts down and just from sheer weight, he like stumbles. Jeez. And just slams Ooh. into the ground, dead. I mean, he needed, he did oh. you know, need to die though, didn't he? Okay. <laughs> didn't say it was non lethal. Did I move? I didn't move. Didn't move yet, no. He wasn't a Ganassi though. Was, no, he was, was fucking. He was fucking. Oh god, imagine if I killed a Ganassi without thinking. I think you wouldn't, you wouldn't have. It. Yeah, I would have wrecked on the whole thing. Um, In the Atlas I mean, Academy as well. Yeah. Oh. At this point, yeah, that you can't. That there were, there are other gods, and you can already hear like shouting and like lights. You can see like light spells being used to try and like, what's going on? Like up there, she's up there, or no, he's up there because you've seen your disguise. Um, there are they're searching for you, but with your abilities and now everything else, you do get away. Can you do do spend four hit dice for me though, please? Um, I have interest. This guy would have been the only one to see this. Ma amazing flurry of attacks. Though. Oh, this flurry of attacks, yes. Yeah. 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 Um, but, I mean, I would say that, like, he is now dead, and yeah. to kill this knight in one on one combat would be somebody very skillful, yeah. but, unless there was, but, yeah. Not necessarily, still not like, that's Nova. <laughs> oh, no, no, and even, yeah, no, no, no. Nobody's going to be able to. Yeah. Can I create bonfire on him and burn his corpse? <laughs> no, because you said you moved away. Also, it doesn't create heat. At this point, <laughs> it says it burns what's ever in it, so uh, it doesn't get make fucked. light. <laughs> At this point, as you exit the building, Nova, a storm is now basically in full effect. Sweet. Wind, rain, howling, <laughs> thunder and lightning cracking overhead. Um, and you see that the Atlas Academy is now swarming with Ganassi guards, but also these Valkyrian rifle corps, like, move, 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 like, like searching around, like, search the entire place, like, find them, like, like searching around. You do manage to slip away. Um, you retreat back, you complete your mission, <laughs> you all meet back podcast. at your safe house. I mean, I guess I, I or Ayla, I imagine, would get back first, right? Well, yeah, I mean, Ayla meets up with you, you like, yeah, meets you halfway, you escort the guys, but I'm like, you, you like, you're like, yeah, okay, we need to find Nova. Yeah. And you probably, like, stumble, you make your way, and you meet up with a very, very tired-looking Nova, who has just had the flight of her life through the Atlas Academy. With no dimension door. Imagine that. No amethyst gauntlet, no dimension door, no teleport crown. Yeah, that would have been... 
That would have been super useful. Yeah, that would have been super useful. But you know what? You just killed that guy in one turn. I know. So. And I still had an attack left. Yeah, exactly. Mm. What was his health? Without gaming it, I just want to know how much damage she just did. Uh, she did 98 points of damage. Jesus. And you still had an attack to go. Yeah, it's like artifact weapon as well. And like, you know, action. An action surge is a pretty strong resource. Well, yeah. You you know, you're going to get it back on a short, re like long rest, I think, action surge. I blew it's, it's, a, it's a powerful, you know, ability to use. Um, <laughs> no. Right. No! <laughs> Lucius and Sentry. The team returns. <laughs> Fuego looks exhausted. Uh, how's Nova looking in terms of hit dice spent at this point? Like, I, I think... spent one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I imagine if we spring ten. up, so, right? Yeah. And like, uh, you're back. And I quickly check Sentry for double dukes. <laughs> <laughs> she had them. <laughs> um, the team returns. <laughs> it. Uh, it is not long <laughs> before uh, I think Norfear would uh, arrange some sort of communication, maybe like sending a messenger or something like that. You idiots. Um, no, not necessarily you idiots, but definitely a, there's stirs already within the, within the next few it's hours. Up the <laughs> yes. Uh, it is uh, both Quill's persona and Nova's persona are now listed as terror, as basically like insurgents who have attacked the Atlas Academy, who have abducted promising young students and killed uh, a oh. number, they claim a number of guards. Uh. Um, like, lot, like it's spin doctored, yeah. but it's based in truth. Uh. Yeah. Um, but uh, along with a number of accomplices and things like that, um, it's, it's painted the Seekers in a bad way. Um, but it is successful. The students themselves are eternally grateful and uh, kind of share everything they know with you guys. Um, what they reveal is that they had been part of a project, um, not being forced to work on the planar devices, but they had been tasked, they'd been created as a sort of special think, think tank um, to help them with the calculations and magical formulas of the planar devices. Um, they give you some insight into what they know about their potential locations. They don't know exactly where these devices are being built or where they're being taken to. Um, they do know that they're connected to the elemental ley lines that exist throughout Morton Song. That's ultimately what's going to power it. But they also give you insights into the device's uh, systems, which will allow you to deactivate them uh, when you're there. You won't need to make checks. You just need to interact with the devices to either deactivate them or, or shut them down permanently, basically. You can basically find a way to kind of uh, force the Valkyrians or the Ganassi to have to re like reset them, which will take time if you wanted to, or you can just uh, temporarily disable them. But it, it means that you won't have to worry about like skill challenges while you're trying to do this and stuff like that. Nice. Um, gives you like additional things, and you do gain some progress towards other things as well. Uh, but you don't okay. get to know what that is. Right. <laughs> uh, One guard. Well, I'm glad you're all back Not safe. Nice. Uh, yeah, safe. Um, it was uh, dicey for a second there. Dicey. Um, uh, we're a little also very soaked. It just suddenly started raining. Oh, sorry, that's my bed. That was you? Yeah, I thought that the noise would help. Oh, oh we saw the clouds and we just thought we it was, thought it was just bad weather. Yeah, that's me. The, the, nice. That storm is the bit... main way that Nova could escape because, like, mm. while that storm's going on, it's harder to find people. Mm. It did also cover it up a little bit, so things like the sounds of fighting and the thunderstep were kind of masked. Nice. Um, but, yeah, it, it's, yeah, it's... Uh... Uh, Lucius, mm. uh, you, you got some disguises uh, earlier, didn't I you? I have some... Uh, noble attire, yeah, which I need to work with K. I'm guessing, unless that's already happened. Flashback no, stuff. No, no, no. You have, well, unless you spend the token, it hasn't happened yet. Uh, we'll need to. Well, I've got clothing for everybody. Uh, it's kind of more aristocratic. Yeah. Um, but they are different. We are gonna need different. All right. Unfortunately, uh, mine at the very least. This guy, he's gone. No more wisp. That's a real shame. I'm going to get you someone with cologne. If you could, that'd be great because, as I said, I can smell this constantly. I'm kind of used to it now. Great. I haven't breathed. All right. True. First thing in the morning, I will go to K and get us some new attire because we're okay. Our identities are secure. I'm not. You two stay here. They while think I, I killed dinner. loads of people. I didn't. You I need just killed one what? person. You need to lay low. Cool. Yeah. So, <clears throat> for your for your information, whilst it is like 
I will make this 100% clear for you. Quill and Nova must change their personas, yeah. right? They don't have to use the flashback token to do so. You can request Kay to do it, but Kay's disguises become less effective the more times he has to, they have to change them, right? Because they run out of supplies and materials. The rest of you, because you kind of arrived at the same time and your interactions at the gatehouse, mm. you can still use your personas, but your incognito score is as a group. Yeah. So even though those are the guys that were found out, it still affects the, the rest of you, okay. right? I will also, us. because you know the Seekers, Tornado and Norfear will tell you that the city is now in a state of alert. Oh. The alert level for the city is now at amber, oh. which means that they are, because an active combat, a yeah. combat encounter happened in a public space. Mm. Even though it was at night, it was a public space and there was evidence of who did it. So, um, so this is basically now on the streets there are groups of soldiers who are like questioning people. There is now a curfew. People outside at nighttime, you will 100% be uh, approached and potentially arrested if you are seen or spotted. Um, now, the alert level will go down every day that you don't engage in like any problematic encounters. <laughs> um, the disguise is you'll have to basically Nova and Quill, and Quill have to spend two time units to establish a new identity. Can we modify what we've already got on? The, for the, the rest of you that are remaining? Yeah. Um, you can do it won't help you necessarily in your incognito score. Okay. No. There are, you'll have to find other ways to improve your incognito okay. score. Uh, it, creating the new personas will help. It will boost it a little bit, mm -hmm. but not as much as it was originally. Okay. Um, okay, well, city alert level Amber is written on the board there. I was I, I passed it to you so you could uh, cross off the objective. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate you writing the city alert level on there. No, you, no, the other thing no, is actually no, not that, no, one. that one. I'm actually going to boost your influence as well because the students yes, okay. um, will do what they can. It is hindered by the state of the city at the minute, yeah. but I, I will mean, boost it a little bit. Yeah. But they are so students, got bad rep. students of the Atlas Academy. And, and they can like go around and they begin like sending messages and getting word out to their parents and their families saying, hey, we're okay. Like they actually get reunited and get to meet with them and say, Aww. no, it wasn't the Seekers, like they saved us. So they are like trying to do what they can. But remember, this is like a city-wide thing. Yeah, I mean, this and the public pockets. story is, Insur Rosian insurgents and traitorous Ganassi storm the Atlas Academy, murdering guards and abducting promising students, blah, 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 blah. I, I would say, like, in terms of Nova, she actually finds this really disheartening. Like, really disheartening that yeah, she bet. can see her once, what she thought was an intelligent city, enlightened, cultural, you know, focused on education and song and, and food and all this. She doesn't recognize this. This is weird and oh. horrible. And like to, to hear this mm. other side of this propaganda that, yeah, unfortunately she killed a guard, but no, it's thousands, you know, hundreds of guards. And I mean, it's not hundreds of guards, but, yeah, it's, but it's multiple guards. Yeah. Seeing the way it's being manipulated mm. and like feeling the tension on the streets and stuff, it really yeah, like, of course. bums yeah. her out. Like yeah. she doesn't recognize this city and she hates that this is a story being spun about the Seekers and mm. her friends. And Yeah, I think that's the thing because like, you know, there's still that moment of you remember the Cold Smoke Street and that mm. was Vaughn's that you remember, right? Mm. Yeah. That hadn't changed that much. Yeah. But it's now it's seeing the power yeah. that these words and just a simple tweak Your of the truth like, yeah. can have. Yeah. And the people are intelligent, cultured mm. people, but that almost works against them yeah. because they think like, oh, I'm smart enough to recognize, like, oh, this is, mm. it must be true because I would be able to tell if this was all. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. that element to it, right? Yeah. With that intelligence, with that culture becomes almost a little bit of arrogance mm. of thinking that they know everything. Yeah. And as you know, it's not the truth. Yeah, and Nova being Nova, like, it's, you know, it's upsetting. Yeah, mm. really upsetting yeah. to her. It's tough. Um, yeah. I think Tornado probably comes by in person like the next day of which by the way we now hit a new day it's a new new day mm -hmm. um and kind of like checks in he's like are you okay bro like he's like checking in with everybody like you know like did anybody get hurt like uh, are you are you guys all okay um yeah yeah we're good we're, we're we're i think we're all okay um it was yeah close for a second there but we managed to save the students it was yeah uh, that's good yeah despite it a successful mission 
Yeah. Um, it's good. No, it's good. It's good. It's a shame that you guys kind of got, um, what's that word, North Korea is compromised a little, but it's good that we rescued those kids because uh, I think that they, I don't know, I mean, I like to think that if everything went to plan and, and we got taken a Ganass, they'd, they'd let them go, right? But what if they didn't, you know? So it's good that we got them out. Anyway, as long as everyone's okay, nobody's hurt or anything, right? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we're okay. I mean, sad of surprise. I, I, I screwed up, bro. I, I, no, well, I no. lost the disguise immediately. But you did, you did the right thing though. Like you, you saved those people. And like, I, you, you, if you hadn't helped, Fuego would have got caught too. And he's not as tough as you guys. So, uh, look, it's one of these things, right? And I had to learn this pretty hard. We, doing this, we're fighting. These people are smart. They know what they're doing, and trying to help people in this situation, like, there's gonna be mistakes, this is gonna happen. You just gotta learn from it, try and do better next time. It's all we can do. But now everyone hates you even more, bro. It's not about that. What matters is saving the city and saving the people. That's what matters. I don't, people can hate me. I don't care about that. Well, they that. shouldn't do. I'm the only one who's allowed to hate you. No, that's sweet, bro. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. In the grand scheme of things, I don't care what happens to my name or anything like that. It's as long as we can help the people. I hate you, bro. And then I give him a hug. Okay, you're really confusing, bro. <laughs> it's like the most inspirational message written in Comic Sans. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lucius is very earnest. The most they're having this conversation, mm. Lucius is trying to put all of the outfits that he's got mm. into some sort of discreet backpack. Mm -hmm and is preparing to head out to meet Kay okay. and get some new identities. Yeah, and so just with those with those disguise, like with the outfits you've got, Kay can make new identities for these guys without you using those. Kay can make new, new personas for these guys without you using those, it just takes time. The ones you've got, if you spend the flashback token, you can give them those new identities without spending time and they'll be, you know, it, it'll give them more access because they'll be richer looking Ganassi citizens. That's the difference. Or you can save that token for like, if you were like on a mission and you were like, no, we need to change now. Oh, you can spend it there. Okay. But Kay can give them new disguises now, it just costs time. That flashback token is a, like a, like, no, 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 like we're gonna have that now. Like we're gonna, you know, uh, retcon what just happened and do that this way, right? That's what that okay. token is for, so what, what those outfits are for. I what I think Lucius will do mm. is, now that we've done a mission, yeah. um, go to Kay, give her these uniforms that could potentially be used as a quick flashback sure. for a future mission, yeah, but we... also say, do you mind creating two new identities? Yep, that's for Nova and Quill. Kay's like, yes, that is what I'm here for. Thank you for these, this is very useful. If you need sort of richer looking assistance, I can provide that. This might open some more doors in the upper exactly echelons. Yes, I, I wouldn't here. have access to this sort of these sorts of fashions I and mean, outfits. So. It's really wonderful stuff. Look how they blend all the different colors of the yeah, four it's, quadrants. It's, it's very, very lovely, and it, like, it will serve very no, well. No, no, really pay attention to the stitching here. Yes, it's okay. fantastic. Tell work. your friends if they want, if if they need me to create these new identities, it will take half a day at least. They need to come and spend time with me. I need to make things. I need to tailor oh, they need it to, to be them. here. Yes, I need them here. Yeah. This And so I'm not going to make this. This doesn't count as anybody's use of time. Oh, right look, now. they're this here. Is, yeah. <laughs> and, well, that's the decision, right? <laughs> Keep in mind. You guys haven't long rested yet. You've gone a full yeah, 24 hours with no rest. rest. You don't need to. Right now, you could probably push on a little bit more, but if you keep going, it's going to start getting tiring. Um, you also, if people want to replenish things like hit dice, mm. um, remember, you only get half your hit dice back on a long rest. Um, but also, Stream at your safe house has a pool of D3s that they can spend to try and give you hit dice back. Okay. Fuego is actually going to use some of those now because he has one hit dice left. Right. Um, Fair so enough. actually going to have him spend two of the pool. Uh, uh, wow. Oh, so many you get back, my boy. Um, hmm. In one quarter, can Lucius have gone to meet with Kay and also checked in at the brazen pit, mm -hmm. as if like, still here. 
Yeah, I mean, you don't have to spend time to do that. Like, the time it's is more like route. if you want to do something. Like, if you wanted to make the checking in part of, like, I'm going to go to the tavern and start talking to people about what happened right. and saying, like, oh, I, do I don't think that it was. I think maybe it's a cover-up. Like, you know, you could be doing that, and that would count as influencing the city, right? It, the time units you only need to spend when you want to progress these objectives or, like, what you're trying to do here in the city. The like, person behind the bar is like, Wait, where's that old man you came in with? And behind him is, like, a wanted poster yeah. <laughs> with a drawer. Of him in there. <laughs> it's that kind of thing. Um, and in terms of the checking in, like, don't feel you have to do that every day. Exactly. That's going to be things like the checkpoint that these guys went through. Mm -hmm. That's a thing for you to consider that you technically are registered as being at the gate at the same time as them. And that's why it affects your incognito yeah. score, right? Yeah, I'm wondering if I should change. You could also change, yeah. Like, if you all ch if you change, you get a but you get a benefit. Um, it will help. I mean, ours, ours are guaranteed burnt, so we need to... You yeah. need to. Well, you need to if you want to go out into the city openly. Yeah. You, if you wanted to be like, no, I'm actually just going to be Quill and sneak around, or I'm going to stay in <laughs> this guy, like, stay in your wisp, but, like, try and do stuff on the sly, you can do that. There's just consequences. Yeah. Um, but it would save you immense amounts of time. I don't. Yeah, I just don't really know how much I can necessarily do in the safe house. I would like to long rest to get all my spells back. Same. I would like to get my new disguise, but I've basically got like an entire day That would be basically an entire day, yeah. Um, yeah. But I think... Or you, or you could at least do like one thing, like, you know, we I'm gonna do this. We could restock day, like just spend the day just... Like, that would give you, I'd give you four days is... left. Um, I think Lucius you've got push yeah, this through. is the this is you've I got five is day days. Five. Yeah, this is yeah. day five. Okay. If you spent a day all recovering, you'd have you'd four have days. I wonder if we can have the mission guys take a rest while we yeah. do. You some. guys we go out. We push yeah. on, yeah. Yeah. and we can, can kind that. of flip flop. Yeah, yeah. I think that will work. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Fuego's going to be out for one time session today because he has to heal. Goliath still has all four. Fuego has three left. Oh yeah, Goliath. Last time me and Goliath we went to investigate the missing council members. Yes, yes, you did. Yep. Yep, that hasn't unlocked yet. You still need a little bit more progress on that. We can, however, scout and send in people to the Sky Dock. You, so that is, that's a mission. That's like the that's next thing mission, you've got yeah. to do is that's a mission. So I might spend... Fact, yeah, because we did the skill challenge for that one, I think. No, no, no we, didn't. we didn't. So no. we, that's, everybody has to be free for that. Okay. So I think to, we everyone just has to be free. You've got the, stuff in the daytime, maybe, and sure. rest and in then, the nighttime. Because yeah. if there's a curfew, then us going about at night right now is would we raise more for it's one hot. night. It basically oh, makes okay. all the DCs so, for like sneaking and like yeah, stuff for at least harder. one so night. So morning should. resting, then two things like changing my disguise, and then nighttime. Unless I won't you be able change to do your disguise and do stuff in the day, and yeah. then nighttime the night. you can rest. Yeah, oh, yeah. Could push through and rest. That's. I think that's what I want to do. Is like. So you want I'll to change probably, disguise as well? Yeah, purely because I was at that checkpoint with okay. Nova. Nova. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Surely I don't think it would be a good... That's pretty smart. Right yeah. now, Crag and Azure are like... Right. Never, we're never with them. What old man? Yeah, it seems like we've kind of dominated the episode. What do you guys want to do like right yeah. now? Uh, honestly, um, what I've said before, so Lucius will go to Kay about these new outfits yeah. and the flashback potential mm -hmm. outfits. Mm -hmm. um, and I think he's going to be schmoozing. Do you want to do city and, influence and mainly? Kind of like getting in amongst like local populace, like uh, gatherings, maybe like the street market vendors. Mm -hmm. Like I imagine there's a lot of discussion up and down there and I'm going to try and influence and steer the conversations as they happen. Okay. Hell yeah. So that's going to be, so for your influence, you want to basically do a bit of city influence. That's going to be your first time unit of the day. It's going to be out in the, out and about. Yep. Right. So what about century? That's your first time unit of the day, Lucius. Um, oh, I can do all of that in one quadrant. Uh, well, yeah, because the other stuff I said was just more like RP stuff. It was just... Well, like going to K and... Yeah, that, I, said, I said that that was just... That's just a free thing. thing. I just said that was a free thing. Also, it's... Like our thing that <laughs> changing the disguise would yeah. be unfair that, to that, take it yeah, from exactly, you as well. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, you, he could, like Lucius going there doesn't help these guys get a new personality, yeah. a new disguise. Mm -hmm. I can't help them with their personalities. No, yeah. no, no, yeah. we're not their personalities. Do All right, that's, that's the first one for for Century. Um, I think Century's going to go um, and continue with the um, council building thing. Trying to find the missing council members. I think she's going to try and look for like. Buildings that are big enough to hold large groups of people but aren't obvious. So like buildings like sure. like storehouses, restaurants, theatres, like the airships, sure, sure. looking at places that might be 
good okay. places to store people. Great. Okay. So that's what you're going to work I on? I found thousands of houses. They no, no, small people no, all the like, time. They're big, like, big enough to have oh, like, a big group of people, but not like, not like a, a prison like that's going to be immediately obvious. Yes. Yeah. No? Great. Um, before we move on to the others, because I know they're doing a lot of shenanigans with time and stuff, would any would you like Goliath to do something? Um, I suppose we could go together. You could, yeah. You want him to come with you and yeah, do, just come do help council out. stuff? Yeah. Okay. If you look at like, could I, we could get Goliath to break shit. He could also do break to city start influence. do it because yeah. if there's bad stuff about the seekers yeah. around, you do he'll know. do whatever you tell him to. Yeah. Like, cool. All of the yeah. You can break shit while we go. Whichever going. you think Actually, has a higher he's, priority. He's got more segments, doesn't he? So he's got full so full day. Could, same as Lucius and Century. Yeah. Could do one with Century and one sure. with. Yeah. So well, we'll do one at a time. So we'll yeah. do the first. We'll do the morning segment yeah, first. Yeah. Right. I'll do it. I'll put him down as council then for now. Um, all right. And then uh, uh, Fuego's out for the morning, uh, getting some healing. So uh, the for Nova, Quill, and Ayla, do you guys want to basically spend the morning and afternoon getting new personas? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, in that case, you both. Yeah. You all lose two time segments. Um, you're free to come up with. You know, your new personas and disguises. Uh, it doesn't, you know, we had fun doing it the first time. I don't want to spend a whole hour doing it again. Um, My name it. is Lisp. Lisp. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> boost. Uh, can you all roll a d4 for me, please? What's the d4? Actually, no, no, no. Sorry, actually, no. Not a d4. This would be, you've got a choice. You can either make a deception or performance huh? uh, check. Yes. Deception, deception or performance. Good. Ooh. Ayla, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Both the same. All 17. Of us? No, just these three. 17. 14. 14. 8. All right. Okay. That's how much it improves your incognitos. <sighs> oh. I'm sorry. It's never going to go well for me because I've got... It's fine. No, it's, better me. it's like, yeah. honestly, like, I mean, it's, Ayla, it's and, Ayla and Nova were, like, you know, good. Quill's yeah. obviously a low result, but you still get a benefit to it. I guess it's a good um, result, isn't it? Yeah, it's and it's also like not a super high DC on that. It's just to kind of gauge how good your you are at you know rapidly changing this persona and like coming up with a new story about who you are and stuff like that. I stood in a queue for three hours as this character and I still forgot his name. Yeah. The moment. <laughs> <laughs> the eight makes sense. Yeah. Um, so you guys can decide who that is either off camera or as we play the session. But you do now have new personas which will allow you to move around more freely. But you are locked out until third. And these are segment. are these noble. No, no. no it could no. Be if we change the If you want to use yeah. them, yeah. No, yeah no, okay. Yeah. If you can use the flashback. We'll go for regular. Schlock. Alrighty. So, uh, second day segment for Lucius, Sentry, and Goliath. Then, what would you guys like to do? Um, What's the probably focus? check in with Sentry and Goliath and how they're getting on. So it's like a the start of segment two. It's like, yeah. how are you getting on with your? your... You're, you're pretty close. Like yeah. you've really narrowed it down. Like you think maybe. Like, spend it, if you spend the afternoon, you can probably, f you know, complete that sort of like researching period. The more time you spend on it, it does make the other tasks easier if you add more time to that one. Okay. But one, you think that one more, one more time segment and you'll unlock it. I'm close. Come, a bit more time. I think I'll, I think I'll get it. Do you think you and Goliath can handle that while I continue to try and influence a positive discourse? For the seekers and mm -hmm. the general populace, I think I'm doing all right. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Really getting into character with Azure as well. Yes. Really feels. Yes. I might do it on stage performance. Mm. Yeah. Go for it. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you could go find a local theatre and like you know try and get a job. <laughs> like you I know, might just try and uh, yeah. land a, a segment. Yeah. For a open mic night. Open mic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would ultimately be like a kind of like um, Shakespeare in the Park kind of like. Damage mm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah kind of. Good harmony. Yeah. But would it be kind of like. like... The flashback episode of Avatar. Yeah. <laughs> where you yeah. just recap the entire. Oh, God, yeah. Zoros. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, okay, so Sentry, you want to spend time locking in the council. Yep. Lucius, you're going to influence the city again. And try and get an in to have a bigger stage, like a bigger influence by yeah. having a. Presentation. Okay. In that case, I mean, you're going to spend, you get the ma basic benefit. Make a performance check for me. We'll see if you can kind of unlock a bit more of a sort of like opportunity per se. The Painted Prince is back. 
<laughs> the beach and Sara are in game. It's a 15. A 15. I mean, you basically get approached. For, like, it's a lot of small scale stuff. It's like, oh, we need, uh, we need a, uh, uh, what do they call it? Um, Best boy. No, the second, like, <laughs> the backup person. A uh, study. Uh, understudy. Understudy, 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 yeah. They basically, it's a lot of like, we need an understudy for this in case this person falls in. Can you come and me. fill in for a debt? We've got somebody missing for this that's week and we need somebody to play, you know, a court, courtly noble five, you know, and it, it's like little jobs like that. Any speaking roles? There's a couple of opportunities that give you speaking roles, but it's not like improvisation, like you get to say what you want. It's mainly scripted kind of thing. But the main thing is you get to, it's that opening that circle of like maybe in the future you'll have another opportunity but I'm for really now it's like, pretty pretty mediocre. Yeah. Lucius is pushing the boundaries of what you can achieve. It's like, okay, if I do this then yeah. this will this will get me somewhere. You'll you know you you're doing it. Would you what about Goliath? Do you want him to help Sentry or do you want him to go off and do something else? Like Sentry's probably gonna unlock I think a mission. He's so. destined for the stage too. <laughs> Goliath? No. Absolutely. He yes, can smashing. play a mountain in the background. Uh, yeah, get him to smash. <laughs> get him to smash up some signs and do stuff. Do more like influence stuff? Yeah. Sure thing. Noted. Different kind of influence. Yeah, his is like going out, and Goliath's is like, yeah, Fuego is more the breaking, like the the crystalline screens with the music and stuff on it. More like you know, um, doing the more like, kind of subtle, non-violent stuff. Goliath's is he goes and finds people that are like bad mouthing the seekers, and he's like, if you don't shut up, yeah, I'm, I'll be back. And then oh, he yeah. like breaks all their shit. Like he he's, <laughs> like, he is a thug. Like yeah. an so he confirms their idea. <laughs> He does, but it does work yeah. uh, uh, as it is effective. And then Sentry, you spend some time and you unlock an opportunity. Oh. So you now have two opportunities. You have the Valkyrian supplies, you know where that's, where you can hit those pretty hard. Um, but you now also have some additional information regarding the uh, missing council members, of which I will read to you now. Um, a number of council members directly opposed Harmony and her loyalists. They were abducted and taken to a secret hiding place in the central district. Uh, and then they were, uh, there were, it was rumored that they had been assassinated by Erosian uh, insurgents and terrorists. The council members are alive. They are being held in one of the top levels of a secure high rise tower in the central district called the Pillar of Open Skies. It is an architectural wonder and used by city government as a research facility. It extends from the ground level of the city up to the upper ring and then even higher. It is approximately 5,000 feet. Whoa! It's like nearly a few, it's like a football field, like an American football field up. Basically. It's a dread building. Yeah, it's a dread, it's, it's like a, it's a skyscraper. It's the, you know, it's, it's a mega skyscraper, it's a skyscraper, fantasy skyscraper. Imagine like Shinra. Um, kind yeah. of. Mm. The Pillar of Open Skies is well defended as it researches the elemental magic devices and features that adorn the city. It does have a general public access on the ground level that features a museum, showroom, and general workers area. It has more exclusive entrance from the upper ring that leads to executive suites, arcane studies, test chambers, and meeting rooms. Completing this objective will earn you 10 points towards city influence, and the council members will be in the Seeker's debt. They share what information they have and potentially can provide insight into Harmony and Shansara. Um, I'm also going to take this opportunity to remind you that you have these secondary objectives. The city influence is doesn't have an end, it's just ongoing. Your sister's time goes on, yeah. That time limit that you have is before the city is transported away. You also have the objective of finding these planar devices. Yeah. <laughs> um. We've got a little bit of info how to disable them from the street. You've, you've earned, but not I will tell you, you've earned four score you've like earned four progress points four towards that objective and... but you don't know how many you need mm. it is a more complex objective so it does require more time yeah. um top floor of the five thousand foot skies one of the top floors we're we gonna have to climb all the stairs <laughs> oh you take the elevator it's the choice <laughs> take the no <laughs> it's uh, basically like yeah it's it's i mean once you get inside yeah you would basically be you'd have to you know, looking at this and like Norfear and Tornado will meet up with you to kind of discuss this, like the mission briefing. Of like, okay, right, before you get to planning, before you start, you know, prepping for this mission, um, Norfear will be like, of course they're there. This, this is difficult, not impossible, but difficult. Um, the Pillar of the Open Sky is a very tall, magically enhanced architectural wonder. Uh, it is most people who can access the ground levels 
will not have the permission to go to the upper floors. Okay. If these council members are being held on the upper floors, it, 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 yes, it would be, you would either need to have a good reason to go there, um, or we would need to do this through some sort of subdiffusion espionage. Um, there is a there is a private uh, sort of landing area at the very top of it for private airships and the like, um, but that is currently not being used by any airships in the city. Um, so it would be quite unusual for one to land there. It would be, yes, yes. But in dire straits, uh, it could be possible that we could find some uh, vehicle to meet you there, or perhaps drop you there. But again, it would be obvious if uh, it, normally that would not happen. You would need to find a way to either find a good reason or something else, I don't know. Um, Sounds like an all hands on deck scenario. It would be difficult. I, 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 won't, I won't cloud it. It would probably be quite a challenging little mission. Um, but if you can think of a, a clever way of doing it, it could be very beneficial. Uh, rescuing these council members would be a huge impact. Um, hmm. That is the opportunity. It's obviously up to you if and when you wish to pursue it. Um, so yeah, that and the Valkyrian supplies are now going to sit as a, when you want to start, mm. you can start the preparation skill challenge to kind of get everything together, scout it out, yeah. get everything ready, and mm. then you can do it. Um, so at the moment for this day five, we've used up two time segments. Morning and afternoon, yeah. Yes, everybody has now used up two time segments. Technically Fuego has another one, but I rolled so badly yeah, on his yeah. healing, I'm going to do it again. So uh, you got three and four left. <laughs> so bad. <everybody>. <laughs> <laughs> he is just, he was a mess. Uh, like, stream keeps him basically locked in for half a day, um, and you can hear him like, ow, ow leave me alone, ow, stop! And like, mm, yeah, he forced to rest, basically. Um, and there is now, yeah. Um, was there any, like, immediate, uh, sort of, um, response with Goliath? or Lucius or any of like the smashy smashy or is it just like a thing that it's like an ongoing thing yeah. it like constantly builds uh, there is kind of like thresholds and stuff let me just check where spend you are two segments on that now yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well. can I use one segment for a long rest, or is it two segments for a long it's rest? One segment one for a long segment. rest, yeah, it's one yes. segment for a long rest. So you currently have two left. You have the, the sort of late yeah. evening. Once this is over, the city is then in curfew. Right? As Thank long you. as it's in this amber alert stage. You may as well if, use the uh, night segment. In late evening, I will, before going for this a long like rest. This is like night time. Before going for a long rest. Evening period, yep. yep. Period uh, Do a little bit of breaking things as well to progress that. Okay. So doing Just so it's points. not wasted, because ale is yeah, probably yeah, yeah. the best to do that kind of shit. Yeah. I mean, honestly, at this stage, this is just like spending a resource. Yeah. So, but you, so you could do whatever you want. But it does make it's very fitting that Ayla would go out and be like, I think, "I'm yeah. going to break screens. I'm going to tear down posters. I'm going to do all this kind of stuff." Yeah. Right? Okay. Um, so far, that there is not a huge change in the city. Um, like you're kind of chipping away at it, but not a massive change. So for period three, um, so for period four, I'd like to long rest, but period three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're talking about period three. For? I'd like to um, maybe meet up with Bolt and some of the students we rescued mm -hmm. and try and figure out like where these Magitech devices would be. Okay. Do you want to progress that objective? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you meet up. Bolt, and that's kind of what Bolt's mainly doing is both like trying to find out where these devices are, but also figuring out how they work, what might go wrong, how are they powering it, doing all of these kind of things. That's that's Bolt's main speciality. And can we use like the clue of like Quill's vision of seeing the statues come to life with runes? Like maybe they're embedded in the statues. You absolutely can, and it's not being currently, it's not being brought up as part of this discussion with the Seekers yet, so I haven't taken it into account. But when you do... I didn't mention it to him. We said you said that the city was going to blow up, and you said that you I saw the, the statues. statues glow. You saw the statues glow, but you didn't say it was yeah. like powering the devices or anything like that. We said the saw statues glow. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah. And, but that, and then they just blew up, and the whole the yeah. whole city glow. I mean, Nova's up. intelligent. If there's yeah. four statues, she yeah, 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 absolutely. And that's what I'm saying. Like now, you bring it up, and you kind of reveal these details that Quilla told you, and you and Bolt start thinking, and he's just like, "Well, the statues are. We didn't really consider that they might be being." Maybe not built there. I imagine that they're not there now, but if that's where their intended goal is. But the students mentioned elemental ley lines, and aren't the statues at key points? Yes, exactly. That's it. They all connect to the central district, but the ley lines go throughout the city, but the statues are meant to be... Uh, energy coalesces there. That's famously why there's this story, as you know, of them being brought to life to defend the city. It does make sense. We 
sort of discounted it because, well, as, you, as you know, Nova, people are hesitant to interfere with the statues. They are such an important part of the city. They're not... If they're intending to use the statues, either these devices would need to be placed beneath them or inside them, and we've not seen any evidence of them doing the latter. So it could be that there is a chamber somewhere underground, but we'll need to look into that. But it's very good to know. Mm. Um, and with that, I will give you a big old bonus. Big old bonus. That is very important <laughs> <information>. <laughs> No, 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 I ruined it immediately. Yeah, right. Immediately. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Sorry, that was the wrong one. I'm just yeah. going to shut up now. You flew them all. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> okay. So we've had Ayla, Nova. We've got three more. And then yeah. Um, and Fuego, actually. I guess, yeah, now that I've got the new disguise, I'm sort of free to do something. So. You are? What are you guys' plans? What are you doing? I want to help in some way because I feel like I really goofed that last one. <laughs> You didn't goof it at all. Like, you got the students out just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I we did completed have to... the objective. You did really well. Imagine if I had lockpicks, though. Oh, you didn't need them. I want to spend three hours buying lockpicks. What do you mean you didn't need them? <laughs> no, I'm fine. Yeah, I kind of need them. So you would go into the city and be like, Hello, good sir, where may I purchase the lockpicks? <laughs> <laughs> don't be um, suspicious. Don't, don't be suspicious. suspicious. What are you guys' plans? I can help in some way. I can use the eye. You can. Mm. Could you use the eye to ask where the device is? Oh, <laughs> you can. That would be uh, a really good again, one. Again, it doesn't. It, it, you can ask where the devices are, and Very that will definitely be a huge be. help. But it might not necessarily complete the mm. objective. We maybe would need to send people out to confirm. Or confirm, like, or also yeah. it could be that they're being built in multiple parts yeah, and they're being yeah. brought together. Like, like but yeah. I will tell you now that using the eye will give you a huge plus to this spending time stuff. Let's spend six hours workshopping the right question. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a whole bunch of students, like, and that's, yeah, well, actually, more no, nervous. The, uh, you'd still have to ask me the question. Well, yeah. We have to workshop it. The perfect question. I've got three charges on the thing anyway. Oh, nice. Yeah, just... Uh... I slots. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, what are, you guys, what are you guys planning? You're in a... Uh, you're dressed... Finer than you were before. I'm getting ready for my performance. It's a very small bit part. He's joining the theatre. He is. Right. I'm trying to get an in, you see, so that I can have an influence and then maybe get some stage time in front of an audience. As in, as in you're going to, what, start shouting different messages into the crowd? I want to get my face out there right. as Azure, so that I can be a bastion for the Seekers. Okay. Be anti-propaganda. Mm. Yeah, that sounds actually like a great idea, and it worries me that I can't see any fault in this. There will be a fault. It'll be the performance itself. I'm breaking it. Okay, uh, do you want to read lines? Read lines? It's a, spo it's a spoken part. I haven't read my lines for today's... Oh, okay. You've got to read your oh, lines, no. Lucius. I mean, do you have Azure, sorry. Yes, I've got like two... Two words, no, two sentences. Two sentences. Okay. And it's a very, like, small piece. Oh, what were they? I wrote them down in my, oh, my arms smudged. You weren't given a piece of parchment or? Oh, I've or... got to go. Oh, okay. Um, uh, please, please remember your lines. Br break a leg. Don't. What? Do Don't break a leg. <laughs> tell him to do that. It's okay. horrible. It's a theater thing. Yeah, but if From he breaks when? his leg, he won't be able to do anything else. We'll be down a whole it's person. What they, it's, what, it's what they say. We don't say that now. So it must have gone out of fashion for some reason. Maybe because you're telling people to break their legs. Who would break legs voluntarily? It's, it's, it's an old Solvin saying <laughs> that fell out of relation. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not really known in Vortensar. It means like, good, good luck, you know? How? I don't, I don't, I don't know. <sighs> Breaking your leg is the worst luck. That means that you're going to get picked off as the weakest of the pack. You Look, can't run away. I suppose it means same... if it doesn't happen, then they've had a good show. I suppose. Well, I guess we should catch you up we... to the current times. Maybe. The current phrase is smash your head against the wall. That one sounds more violent. <laughs> no, it means good luck. Smash your... It's, it's not as quick or snappy as break a leg. I suppose. You know, break a leg. But that's, just, that's just what it is. In these hands. Okay. 
Luke anyway, Luke has to do this. Smash your head against the wall. Bye. <laughs> Two-line two roll. Um, that gets he on stage burn. and he hammers his leg. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just like gets a hammer and breaks it. Is that just said it? Right. <laughs> still, still need. I got Sorry. Uh, Tom. Sorry. Question. Yeah, Quill, Sentry, Lucius. I got a third segment from all y'all. Well, and you're doing the performance, right? Perform. More inspiring. I'm continuing. All right, continuing to build up the city's influence. Well, I'm making a name the... for Azure. Mm-hmm. We have, we have the two current objectives, which are to go to uh, the... Um, the Seekers and the Valkyrian the Seekers dock. and the... Well, we won't be able to do that until everyone's here. The high-rise tower to help find the council members. Yeah. And also disrupting the warehouse supplies. Uh, I That's mean, we have to have everyone else thing. around. True, we That'll do. be a tomorrow job and maybe yeah. a day after job. Um, I don't know, you want to go... Just smash smash some stuff. stuff. <laughs> what happened to using your eye to tell us? Yeah, what I thought you were going to use were. the eye. Where's Nova, by the way? I don't know. He went off with the students. Standing beside you, going, uh, use the eye. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. Because you guys have now spent. You've done two um, progressing objective mm -hmm. things, haven't you? You mark off two hit dice for yeah, me. Nice. Um, Nova, you've only done one, so one, and then one, one for for Ayla as well. Every time you spend to progress an objective, okay. it costs yeah, yeah. one hit dice. Use the I'm eye. going to. I'll use the eye. Long rest um, after this, though. Yeah. To help so you'll get high, unless you've spent nine or more, then you'll just nope. you should get all of them back. Hmm. It's, the idea is that they slowly burn away, but it's hard to do that. <laughs> can I actually, yes. instead of just carrying on doing the same thing, can I also use this quarter to go to Norfear? Yes. And say. Okay, me like slowly working my way up in six days to make a name for myself may not work out. So I think I need to fabricate. Uh, I'm actually a very well renowned actor that's come back to Vortensar, and everyone should pay attention to me. Okay. How do we do that? Your own propaganda against of yourself. Yes, big, big up my name. How so that I just people are like uh, people have been speaking about this guy, and we should pay attention. All right. We like forge reviews to like put in newspapers and stuff, mm. like little like pamphlets. The illustrious. So, so I'm going to I'm going to interrupt connection. the role play. I'm going to interrupt the role play for a minute because I need to know from what what taking us out of the Lucius role play. Yeah. What is what does Chris Trot want? I see this. Like like he's going to be like a manic street preacher. Right, yeah, I get I get the concept. <laughs> right? does not. But in terms of like the in terms of what we do in the session, do you want to have like a a session where you have to go and do a performance and like interact? Like, do you want like a role play thing? Because like ultimately, what you're asking Norfear is gonna be the same thing mechanically, right? Yeah, you're yeah, still yeah. progressing the same You just want to add the flavor. flavor, right? Okay, that's cool. I, that's fine then. Unless it's but I, I, to... I wasn't sure if you were like, no, I want to do a special no, role play thing. I'm basically right, trying, trying to raise to the out. stakes of my gotcha. my mission, which gotcha. is like, this is too slow. I yeah. need to. You want sure, to speed that up. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I mean, then like that could be like tied into like when you're doing like these other things, like the skill challenges for like even things like the supplies and the council members. That could be you being like, I'm gonna go and be a distract, like do a show in the area and like build up the name and stuff like that. That still technically is helping. It just depends on. Azure is going to the be skill. very present, mm -hmm. saving the council members, and it's gonna be all over the news. Yeah, you make a big deal of like, I think I, that they're we still did it alive. For the good I'm reasons. gonna rescue them yeah. and blah blah blah. Yeah, you could do something to like yeah. counter the the obvious. That'll, that'll be like when we do that stuff. I'm just saying that that's like something you could do. Like you know, you could try and connect it to these skill challenge things that you want to do. You're gonna try and take over the news, aren't you? Take over the media, yeah, control the media. Man. Like tomorrow never dies. I was dies. wondering, I was wondering um, if we could sabotage the projection things. Go to the to root up of the different, problem. Better messages. Different messages yeah. on yeah, them. Yeah, you absolutely can do that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, we make right. our first propaganda film. <laughs> okay, rolling. <laughs> well, we but for now, I'm just going to put your just in your influence. In I'm the just continuing, system, but right. it's a different flavor of it. Okay, so I need uh, Century and Quill to decide. So, what are you feeling like today? I'm thinking either. Let's live it. <laughs> like, <laughs> she's so angry. Getting, getting an idea of like the state of play the amongst state of the populace. Play. Right. Maybe going into like taverns and stuff, and just seeing what the general gossip is. Yeah. So I'd say if you wanted to spend a time segment to do something like that, um, you could either choose to learn how much you're already influenced in the city. Mm -hmm. Like what benefits that may or may not give you, 
Or you can do it to figure out what your incognito score is and what that might be affecting as well. Mm. So you could do that. Rather than trying to like progress on these objectives, you could be like, well, I want to check our progress. Like, how are we doing in terms of this thing? How are we, how's our incognito score doing? That could be done in, as a time segment. Mm. Just kind of give you like a like, right, where are we currently at kind of thing. Yeah. Or maybe like make like little little flyers and just leave them in places. Yeah, that that would be influence in the city mm. as an objective. You could def that would 100% be a thing. Like start putting out like pamphlets like yeah. the real truth. <laughs> Yeah. What what Harmony doesn't want you to know. <laughs> Ten <laughs> things about Aroes that oh. Shansara won't tell you. Kind of the most you clickbait. Shamsara. 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 Yes, let's get in that term. Shamsara. Start trying to promote that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. All right. Shamsara. Right. Hashtag Shamsara. Hashtag, yeah. Hashtag 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 lying Shamsara. star. <laughs> yeah. All right. More city progress. And then last. Certainly not least. What are you going to do, Tom? Just chill. Okay. No, no, I'm going to... Uh, I want to use the Eye of the Storm. Yes. Uh, and the question I want to ask... I'm thinking of... Um, I'm happy for this to take a time slot yeah, rather will. than just yeah. this instant. Yeah, it, it will do. Because <laughs> it's kind of like it's you thinking about the question, discussing with Norfear and the others, like, okay, well, what's going to, what kind of information are we looking for? Like, it's, yeah. it is, it's you know, mechanically. I mean, I, I think my intention with the question um, is to find um, who is currently working on. What? Oh, I forgot. No, I'm, just, I'm so what, what tired. Sorry. Oh, I'm so <laughs> tired. Sorry. Uh, and Lucius as well. Uh, um, the other thing I'd say for the Eye of the Storm, it won't cost you a hit dice. It will spend the time saying, but because oh, yeah, it is I one of your abilities. You're using a thing. Oh, cool. I'd just say that because it's an instantaneous answer, but it's not awesome. going to cost you any sort of like time or energy. Yeah. So uh, I, I think what yeah what I intend to do is um, is to ask the question mm. uh, of who. To, to like show me who is currently working, like, on the teleporter, playing our teleporters, nice. right? Mm -hmm. And then I can then use that once I see their face, see clothing, maybe even see a location or whatever. Mm -hmm. I can then use that in the future for like locate creature didn't, or something like that. Didn't you say like pillar when we were talking about the council members that the Magitech development labs were up in the pillar? Some of them are, yeah. The open sky. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them are, yeah. Uh, the uh, elemental magic. It's not magic tech. It's like the, the kind of stuff that they have here in Ganas. Like the the so not necessarily like the teleportation. Might it could be, mm. but it'll still help. Yeah, yeah. All right. Is that um, a question you're asking? Yeah, I, I think with what the intention of go on. where are they being developed? Where will they be placed? Well, yeah, that was another question I thought of. Like, where like, will the teleporters be when, when, when they, they are, are activated? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. Um, I feel like that would give me a more definitive answer rather than just looking in the face of someone and then trying to locate them. Right um, now, it could probably be everywhere. Okay. It might not necessarily show you how to reach that place. Mm, it might true. just show you that place. Yeah, that's the thing. But it would still be useful, like because then that. you can describe it, and then somebody might know. But that's going to again be reflective of like yeah. once you know, helpful. you have to go out there and ask. But it, it, whatever you ask will be helpful. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I, I, yeah, I want to ask uh, where the planar teleporters will be. When they are activated, although now I've said that, I'm wondering if it will show me all four at once, and it'll be confusing. I'm going with it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's a little bit of what you feared, and then also what I suggested. Uh, the vision that you see is of four. Uh, it is kind of overlaid upon each other. You see sort of four different locations at once. I'll cross my eyes. They are being placed uh, <laughs> simultaneously. Um, you see, you don't see where in the city. You don't have like this, the scoped out city that zooms in. This is like four screens laid on top of each other of similar features, but it becomes blurry and hard to tell. But there are similar elements to each one. You see chambers, stone walls, magitech throughout them. You get the sense of being underground, um, strong smells. Identifying parts, and I'm not gonna, I can't give you it in real life. I can't, you know, come up with a, the description of all four places immediately now. Sure. Yeah, yeah. But you get enough information, confusing as it may be, 
you don't you don't know. You can look at a map and be that they're going to be here, they're going to be here, they're going to be here. But you begin to describe those rooms to Norfear, to Tornado, to other members of the Seekers. That information gets disseminated out, and this search becomes of like we're looking for a place that has the you know one that you smelt like strong. Um, seawater in one, you felt intense heat in another one. You could see uh, uh, particular certain materials. types of like rock yeah. and material, like, yeah, it had this kind of glassy, like, kind of look to it, kind of thing. I thought I saw like carved stone, but it looked old, you know, these kind of like details, yeah, right? Yeah. And you build this profile that is then going to be used to help you kind of track that down. Yeah. Um, your wisdom modifier is plus five, isn't it? Or is it higher now? Uh, it, I think it's plus six. All right. 22, baby All right. <laughs> okay. With the hours of that time segment you still have left, you kind of work with North, you give this description, and you kind of, you know, spend some time reaching out, and you get the sense that, like, now that that's out there... You're not far away from from figuring this out of where these things are going to be, or hope you know potentially where they're built. And you begin to get the sensation that right now they're not completed; they're being built in different parts, and they're going to be brought together in these locations. Mm -hmm. But if you can know where they're going to be, you can prepare for this assault to try and, as soon as they're there, get in, sabotage them, take the stuff, whatever it's going to happen to be. Um, but that information's still elusive, but it's close. Yeah, no, it's cool. Like as long as there's like movement, a, mm -hmm. a, a new source of information that people are yeah. rushing around to, to right. try and solve. And with that, I believe that's everybody, if you're long resting, that's long rest one section you. left long for rest. a long rest. Cool. Um, all right. So how up to nine hit points? Okay. Yeah, so basically you get half back. Um, so if you'd spent over nine. Uh, so I've spent 11, so I'll have two. You should have two already deducted, yes. Yeah. Cool. It's one of those learning things of I, I really like using hit dice as a resource That's mechanic of like spending yeah. it because they don't really get used because we like yeah. with D&D &D, it kind of a lot of the core D&D &D expects groups to be playing for like six hours and having eight encounters like between long rests yeah. Yeah. and because of the way we do it and it's being streamed like that rarely happens yeah. so you guys almost never spend hit dice on short rest like very once in a while you will. Um, well, I mean, so. if the encounter we had went horrendously and we burned <laughs> way more hit dice than we actually did, there would be a situation where we're like, we can't run away from this this thing. Right. Yeah. We don't have the hit dice to do it. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so that's it's kind of that idea of like trying to make them into a resource, and that works really well up until you guys get to high level where it's like we got eighteen and I get yeah. nine back every long rest. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's actually quite a lot. <laughs> so I hadn't I mean, done the math. Yeah. Right. Well, you know what it's we're funny. like though. We might fail a lot of things in, that, in that, missions. That, that's the nice thing. That's why I like doing it. It's like even if you fail, you don't feel like, oh god, like we've yeah. lost loads or we fucked up. Like you're like, that sucks. Like now we're going to be pressured if we need to do this thing. I mean, but, yeah. conceptually, it's still a cool thing. It's yeah. A cool thing. Yeah. Um, you get half back. Yeah. I still learn. Yeah. yeah, you should get half. You, it should do it automatically. Okay, I think. Three then. But that is the end of day right. two. Yeah, there's four days left. Four, four days, days remain. Four days remain. Do, do. Uh, and I will remind you that if you want to do these kind of skill challenges to unlock some of these side missions, everybody has to be free, and you all spend yeah. that uh, time. I feel time. like this day is going to be a big mish. Mm. Yeah, it will be. Big Probably mish too big mish. Yeah, it could be too big mish. Can you imagine? Back to back mish. Back to back mm -hmm. mish. Yeah. What a double mish. So do you want to? What if we split the party? So that oh. worked really well last time. Yeah. So, uh, the question is, because uh, we do need to wrap up very shortly. What uh, are the plans for now, the next day? Yeah, basically, uh, just so we know, we could try and like rapidly do one of these skill challenges now, or we can save it for next time. I'd like to save it. Save it, because I don't know. And in that case, to have just let me know what you want to do. Then. Yeah, well, I think yeah. um, well, the two objectives... Have a discussion, at least. Mess up you. the Valkyrian I think warehouses, warehouses yeah. or, or find, find the, the council members. Council members. Mm -hmm. I think we should... Hmm, what yeah, do you reckon would be most beneficial to us this day? I think if we take out the weapons, it will make the central district easier. Yeah, the central yeah. district With the scary. amber alert level and more guards, sure, that might yeah. provide a decent distraction yeah. for them to have to I rebuild. Or... To it probably wouldn't lower the alert level, would it? It'll probably raise it. It, like, it, well, yeah, yeah, I'll but, tell you now, if you get into a combat encounter, like you have to fight people, them. it will raise it. Yeah. If you can do this without being detected, yeah. it will lower it. Yeah, no, I just mean like 
but would it, would it force them to lower the level because they have less? It wouldn't force inventory. them to lower it, no. But it's the kind of thing of like, um, you know, if you do, if you have another combat encounter, let's say in the rescue in the council, or when you go to get the devices, you will face less opposition. Like that's yeah. what mm. that objective is mainly going to give you, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, and you've seen a little bit of what the Valkyrian forces are. You've fought an Inquisitor. You little fought phase the night. Phase Knight. Octavius. And, and again, like mm. that was one Phase Knight. There's, you know, a lot there's of more. them in the city. There's going to be a lot, yeah. and there's yeah. other there's other forces yeah. as well. You can't banish um, them all. Yeah. You also know that at the Sky Yard, uh, with those supplies, kind of an objective within the objective, sort of. Um, the main thing is to destroy the weapons and armor and supplies and things, but you also know that one of their planetary transports is docked there. Mm. And you've got the, you whatever you decide to, if you wanted to destroy it, if you wanted to do something else, you could do that. Um, but that is also a, a powerful weapon and could potentially be a combat encounter as well. Could also, get you up to the yeah, pillar of the stars. Potentially quite a stealthy way up into the central district. Yeah. Well, not really. No, well, no, it's not no I mean, it's obviously, obviously it's... <laughs> <with Yeah>. their, <laughs> like, if they see that thing Stop. coming in, then it's, it's you know, probably less alarming than... They might be as Valkyria yeah, yeah. than yeah. Um, nerds. Potentially. Nerds. Potentially, That's just some nerds! We could put the brick on the throttle and just send it going up. Put a brick on the throttle and send it, like... We don't want to destroy and the and pillar. <laughs> no, 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 just just let the ship go up and just from the sky yards, yeah. Yeah, and just see what happens. So it's just saying like, like a just balloon. Get rid just of let it. it go. Just yeah. let it go. Just put an arcane eye in there. Yeah. <laughs> just see where it is in like ten years. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Hadari <laughs> said. Smash it against it's the cradle. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like we all die in this campaign, and like a flashback to or flash forward to like five years from now, it crashes into it's Hadar, kills him. You think the universe will exist five years after you guys are all dead? True. <laughs> I just love the idea of Hadar just dying to some... Or it just, goes, it just goes in his eye or something like that. He's like, oh. <laughs> um, Rude. <laughs> anyway, what what do we want to... I, I think the Valkyrian way. I think, I think Valkyrian. Valkyrian. All right. Valkyrian. Um, and do you all want to go on that mission? Is that going to be like a Hutz and the whole squad? I think so. Probably. We're going to need all the... <laughs> After the, how the last one went, it might be a good I think so. Yeah. I'm making no it, comment. It, it, it certainly could have gone... Could have gone worse. It could have gone worse. Yeah. Look, it, I think it actually... I, it it really went cool. well for us. It was really <laughs> for cool. us. It, it all of us go good. on this mission, and then we send Fuego and Goliath to save the council. Yeah. 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 You could do that. They, you could send the two of them on a mission if you want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That'll go well. <laughs> got, a, got a little table. It's like we got the squad that has like all the best equipment yeah. gear, yeah. all the skill points yeah. put into them, and then yeah. we send out the two grunts. It's like in Final Fantasy VIII, you got like, your three guys that you've spent, you've leveled yeah, 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 your favorites, yeah. and then the game is like, now you have to play the other three, and you're like, no! Uh, I've not leveled them up, they've got garbage! <laughs> yeah, that. Cool. All right. Nice. nice. All right. Yeah, yeah, warehouses. That sounds like a good all right, plan. So, I Valkyrian I supplies. Warehouse. And you're gonna, So, Where? the idea. <laughs> When we start the next session, we'll do the skill challenge, which is yeah. the kind of preparation stuff, which Warehouse. should take the morning. Yeah. Would you want to attack? Would you want to sneak in to do the supply stuff in the afternoon, the early evening, or nighttime? I think we'll have curfew? to decide that in the planning. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's do it in the morning while they're having their well, coffee. It'd be afternoon. Coffee and oatmeal. What if we plan for the warehouse, then plan for the central district, then attack the That's warehouse, then use the ship to go yeah. to the central district yeah. and also I, save the... I, you could 100% do that. Maximize our day. Yeah. yeah. I, absolutely. Let's double mission. Yeah. 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 Out of interest, and I'll preface this by saying I am loving this system. Okay. Are you, were you expecting each day to take an entire session? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but this I, is I tried, I tried a very similar system with some other stuff, and the more abstract stuff went quite faster. I think what slowed this one down was that mission. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, yeah. I was like, no, that it, it won't be that bad. Like Quill's, like the Ethereum's plan is really good. It's really clever. And with that combination you rolled last yeah, time, yeah. I was just like, oh, there's an Inquisitor yeah, there. Much, yeah. What? Yeah, Tom, Tom will figure a clever way of dealing with that. I'll be right, I'll be okay. Like, and then it was like, and then Nova and Fuego, Fuego were there, which I was like, okay, that's, that, I knew that was going to happen. And then because you guys went up, I was like, okay, well, they would, I did like some survival checks. I was like, well, they know that somebody's here. They check upstairs. You heard them come in and then they obviously gave chase and stuff. And it was just like the way that like events event. went down. Yes. It was a chain of stuff. Like, I mean, and it was the, good, but it was just, it took longer yeah. than I was thought it would. And one of the most powerful oh. birds also, on the planet. Fun. And I got followed by a fucking door. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Classic. Yep. Five doors. D&D. Five doors. How it goes. Five doors. Doors and corridors. What would have happened if we went down? 
Um, I would, it would have been stealth checks because you would have basically been trying to like sneak past them as they were coming up. Yeah. Um, if you had succeeded on the stealth checks, you would have just snuck past them and then probably would have had an easier time of going out. Yep. Um, but, <laughs> there, but it's that risk of like, then it just becomes like a dice roll of like, yeah. oh, I rolled a one, yeah. fuck, they found us. Now we've, got, now we've got to fight an entire Everyone squad in here. Rather than one yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah, rather than the one guy who was chasing after you. Also, cinematic as fuck what happened. I know, right? So, really yeah, cool. I think that I, natural 20. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's like, a, no decision is wrong. Yeah. They just lead to interesting places. I remember what I was going to ask now. Um, was the guy, uh, Octavius, Yeah. Dead now. did he have any regard for, like, the precious artifacts that he was, like, jumping onto or anything like that? Or was he just a Valkyrie? Well, I, think in, in it's a like, I think it's like, yeah, it was like, I am a there. soldier. This There's person has, has done something that they shouldn't. I have to catch them. Yeah. And so it's kind of, it's action movie cop where they're like jumping through the, like shooting out in the museum. They don't give a fuck about one. <laughs> no, I just love the more idea. like yeah. Jackie Chan and Rush Hour trying to like, like, like save, save the, the art. bars and <laughs> stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just like it Nova right? in Borton yeah. in the Atlas Academy, like basically your I home. was dying inside. Yeah. <laughs> and, I was absolutely dying inside when I jumped well, on that little air thing. Well, especially like, is the, the air glider, yeah. the Wright Brothers plane. Yep. <laughs> it's like the first thing, like. Oh, no. Just imagine as it was, she was muttering, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. Like, you know? yeah. And then old Octavius is just like in point break, doo -doo, just like. Doo -doo. <laughs> <laughs> and he's dead now, so. Yeah. yeah. Or no, is like he? Yeah. He'll be back. He better be. Should I, would you like me to roll death thing for us? No. Yes. Yes. I stabbed him yeah. several times. Yeah, yeah. No. no, you didn't. No. Right. Away. I Shall I? Yeah. I? I mean, I just, I just, at the very least, I want another Octavius to come back. Yeah, but the thing is, is if he's alive, he would know because he would be like, "Hey, she had a really weird weapon." No, like, uh, considering it's like three successes or three failures, yeah. this is my fifth roll, so that tells oh, you. Shit. Oh right, okay. Okay. <laughs> Next session, Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm in a different disguise. No, it's fine. All right, with that, hey, uh, that is going to be it for this episode of High Rolls Arois. Thanks for watching us. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. 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 No one else can use it. Hello. Uh, Welcome you back. Cut off my fucking head. You cut off my head. <laughs> Over. Yeah, I'm gonna hey. take yours. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for this episode. Uh, surprise, surprise. We got you again, guys. It's pre-recorded. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Uh, um, but hey, thank you if you did donate or you gave bits or did any of that kind of cool stuff, subscribed. Thank you so much. Yeah. We are still going to try and read those out when we come back to yes. live after I get back from my trip to Japan. Yeah. Um, so please do keep the donations, keep the messages, keep the subscriptions coming in. We'll do like a big read of it in our first session back. Yeah. Um, and we do really appreciate the support and stuff like that as well. Uh, don't forget, go to freshstore.com. Co. Yeah. Ah, you did it! <laughs> and get the new merch collection. And if you're going to be at PAX Unplugged or you would like to come and see me and you don't mind a trip to Philadelphia if you live nearby, I'm going to be at PAX Unplugged in December. So come and check out that. Uh, and that's it. Thanks yeah. very much for watching. Yeah. Uh, anything anybody needs to say? Hey, do you like early access to podcast episodes? Probably not because you're this far into the episode and don't listen to the podcast and watch the VODs instead. Anyway, podcasts. Podcasts. Check Patreon. it out. Patreon. Yeah, go check out our Patreon. Uh, there is also uh, quite a while ago, I admit now, some uh, additional stuff on there that wasn't ever released anywhere else. We try and put stuff when we can, but we do make yeah. it and say when we have the opportunity to. Yeah. yeah. All right. But uh, if you're but on YouTube, hit that big little red button in the bottom. It's now white. Subscribe. Oh, it's white now. Yeah, they changed it to white. Press so that white. white button. Subscribe. And, also the, and go to D and D High Rollers on TikTok. Yeah. What's TikTok? God, I don't know why, but just saying, like, press the subscribe button just made yeah, me feel really Yeah, I feel really... Ugh, it made my chest yeah. go real tight. Hey, what's up, everybody? Please don't... Turn the morning to you! Jack, I'll fight you. In real life. No! <laughs> no! Shots! <laughs> Fun! Are you kidding? Relevant Jack, you seem like a lovely guy. I, he's a lot. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I know a few people yeah. know him. He's very. They easy. can be a guest. Yeah, I'd love. Yeah, come on the show. Please come on our show, Jack. Yeah. Come, come, right, anyway, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you. Take care. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.